Surah 28 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 28, The Stories, al qasas revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. ta sin mim these are the verses of the book that makes things clear. We recite to you from the account of Musa and Pharaoh with truth for people who believe. Surely Pharaoh exalted himself in the land and made its people into parties, weakening one party from among them. He slaughtered their sons and let their women live. Surely he was one of the mischief-makers, and we desired to bestow a favor upon those who were deemed weak in the land, and to make them the imams, and to make them the heirs, and to grant them power in the land, and to make Pharaoh and Haman and their hosts see from them what they feared. And we revealed to Musa's mothers saying, Give him suck, then when you fear for him, cast him into the river, and do not fear nor grieve. Surely we will bring him back to you, and make him one of the messengers. And Pharaoh's family took him up, that he might be an enemy, and a grief for them. Surely Pharaoh and Haman and their hosts were wrongdoers. And Pharaoh's wife said, A refreshment of the eye to me and to you. Do not slay him. Maybe he will be useful to us, or we may take him for a son. And they did not perceive. And the heart of Musa's mother was free from anxiety. She would have almost disclosed it had we not strengthened her heart so that she might be of the believers. And she said to his sister, Follow him up. So she watched him from a distance, while they did not perceive. And we ordained that he refused to suck any foster mother before. So she said, Shall I point out to you the people of a house who will take care of him for you, and they will be benevolent to him? So we gave him back to his mother, that her eye might be refreshed, and that she might know grief, and that she might know that the promise of Allah is true. But most of them do not know. And when he attained his maturity and became full grown, we granted him wisdom and knowledge, and thus do we reward those who do good to others. And he went into the city at a time of unvigilance on the part of its people. So he found therein two men fighting, one being of his party and the other of his foes. And he who was of his party cried out to him for help against him who was of his enemies. So Musa struck him with his fist and killed him. He said, this is on account of the shaitan's doing. Surely he is an enemy, openly leading astray. He said, My lord, surely I have done harm to myself, so do thou protect me. So he protected him. Surely he is the forgiving, the merciful. He said, My lord, because thou hast bestowed a favor on me, I shall never be a backer of the guilty. And he was in the city, fearing, awaiting, when lo, he who had asked his assistant the day before was crying out to him for aid. Musa said to him, You are most surely one erring manifestly. So when he desired to seize him, who was an enemy to them both, he said, O oh Musa, do you intend to kill me as you killed a person yesterday? 
you desire nothing but that you should be a tyrant in the land, and you do not desire to be of those who act aright. And a man came running from the remotest part of the city. He said, O Musa, surely the chiefs are consulting together to slay you. Therefore depart at once. Surely I am of those who wish well to you. So he went forth therefrom, fearing, awaiting, and he said, My lord, deliver me from the unjust people. And when he turned his face towards Madian, he said, Maybe my lord will guide me in the right path. And when he came to the water of Madian, he found on it a group of men watering, and he found besides them two women keeping back their flocks. He said, What is the matter with you? They said, We cannot water until the shepherds take away their sheep from the water, and our father is a very old man. So he watered their sheep for them, then went back to the shade and said, My lord, surely I stand in need of whatever good thou mayest send down to me. Then one of the two women came to him, walking bashfully. She said, my father invites you that he may give you the reward of your having watered for us. So when he came to him and gave to him the account, he said, Fear not, you are secure from the unjust people. Said one of them, O oh, my father, employ him. Surely the best of those that you can employ is the strong man, the faithful one. He said, I desire to marry one of these two daughters of mine to you on condition that you should serve me for eight years, but if you complete ten, it will be of your own free will, and I do not wish to be hard to you. If Allah please, you will find me one of the good. He said, This shall be an agreement between me and you, Whichever of the two terms I fulfill, there shall be no wrongdoing to me, and Allah is a witness of what we say. So when Musa had fulfilled the term, and he journeyed with his family, he perceived on this side of the mountain a fire. He said to his family, Wait, I have seen a fire. Maybe I will bring to you from it some news or a brand of fire so that you may warm yourselves. And when he came to it, a voice was uttered from the right side of the valley, in the blessed spot of the bush, saying, O Musa, surely I am Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and saying, Cast down your staff. So when he saw it in motion, as if it were a serpent, he turned back retreating, and did not return. O Musa, come forward and fear not. Surely you are of those who are secure. Enter your hand into the opening of your bosom. It will come forth white without evil, and draw your hand to yourself toward of fear. So these two shall be two arguments from your lord to Pharaoh and his chiefs, surely they are a transgressing people. He said, My lord, surely I killed one of them, so I fear lest they should slay me. And my brother Harun, he is more eloquent of tongue than I, therefore send him with me as an aider, verifying me. Surely I fear that they would reject me. He said, We will strengthen your arm with your brother, and we will give you both an authority, so that they shall not reach you. Go with our signs. You too and those who follow you shall be uppermost. So when Musa came to them with our clear signs, they said, this is nothing but forge enchantment, 
and we never heard of it amongst our fathers of old. And Musa said, My Lord knows best who comes with guidance from him, and whose shall be the good end of the abode. Surely the unjust shall not be successful. And Pharaoh said, O chiefs, I do not know of any god for you besides myself. Therefore kindle a fire for me, O Haman, for brick, then prepare for me a lofty building, so that I may obtain knowledge of Musa's God, and most surely I think him to be one of the liars, and he was unjustly proud in the land, he and his hosts and they deemed that they would not be brought back to us. So we caught hold of him and his hosts. Then we cast them into the sea, and see how was the end of the unjust. And we made them imams who called to the fire, and on the day of resurrection they shall not be assisted. And we caused a curse to follow them in this world, and on the day of resurrection they shall be of those made to appear hideous. And certainly we gave Musa the book after we had destroyed the former generations. Clear arguments for men and a guidance and a mercy, that they may be mindful. And you were not on the western side when we revealed to Musa the commandment, and you were not among the witnesses. But we raised up generations, then life became prolonged to them, and you were not dwelling among the people of Madian, reciting to them our communications, but we were the senders. And you were not on this side of the mountain when we called, but a mercy from your Lord that you may warn a people to whom no warner came before you, that they may be mindful. And were it not that there should befall them a disaster for what their hands have sent before, then they should say, Our Lord, why didst thou not send to us a messenger, so that we should have followed thy communications and been of the believers? But now, when the truth has come to them from us, they say, Why is he not given the like of what was given to Musa? What? Did they not disbelieve in what Musa was given before? They say, Two magicians, backing up each other, and they say, Surely we are unbelievers in all. Say, then bring some other book from Allah, which is a better guide than both of them, that I may follow it if you are truthful. But if they do not answer you, then know that they only follow their low desires, and who is more erring than he who follows his low desires without any guidance from Allah? Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. And certainly we have made the word to reach them so that they may be mindful. As to those whom we gave the book before it, they are believers in it. And when it is recited to them, they say, We believe in it. Surely it is the truth from our Lord. Surely we were submitters before this. These shall be granted their reward twice, because they are steadfast and they repel evil with good, and spend out of what we have given them. And when they hear idle talk, they turn aside from it and say, We shall have our deeds and you shall have your deeds. Peace be on you. We do not desire the ignorant. Surely you cannot guide whom you love, but Allah guides whom he pleases, 
and he knows best the followers of the right way. And they say, if we follow the guidance with you, we shall be carried off from our country. What? Have we not settled them in a safe, sacred territory to which fruits of every kind shall be drawn? A sustenance from us, but most of them do not know. And how many a town have we destroyed, which exalted in its means of subsistence? So these are their abodes. They have not been dwelt in after them except a little, and we are the inheritors. And your Lord never destroyed the towns until he raised in their metropolis a messenger, reciting to them our communications, and we never destroyed the towns except when their people were unjust. And whatever things you have been given are only a provision of this world's life and its adornment, and whatever is with Allah is better and more lasting. Do you not then understand? Is he to whom we have promised a goodly promise, which he shall meet with like him whom we have provided with the provisions of this world's life? Then on the day of resurrection he shall be of those who are brought up. And on the day when he will call them and say, Where are those whom you deemed to be my associates? Those against whom the sentence has become confirmed will say, Our Lord, these are they whom we caused to err. We caused them to err as we ourselves did err. To thee we declare ourselves to be clear of them. They never served us. And it will be said, Call your associate gods. So they will call upon them, but they will not answer them. And they shall see the punishment. With that they had followed the right way, and on the day when he shall call them and say, What was the answer you gave to the messengers? Then the pleas shall become obscure to them on that day, so they shall not ask each other. But as to him who repents and believes and does good, maybe he will be among the successful. And your Lord creates and chooses whom he pleases, to choose is not theirs. Glory be to Allah, and exalted be he above what they associate with him. And your Lord knows what their breasts conceal and what they manifest. And he is Allah. There is no God but he. All praise is due to him in this life and the hereafter. And his is the judgment and to him you shall be brought back. Say, tell me if Allah were to make the night to continue incessantly on you till the day of resurrection. Who is the God besides Allah that could bring you light? Do you not then hear? Say, tell me if Allah were to make the day to continue incessantly on you till the day of resurrection. Who is the God besides Allah that could bring you the night in which you take rest? Do you not then see? And out of his mercy he has made for you the night and the day that you may rest therein and that you may seek of his grace and that you may give thanks. And on the day when he shall call them and say, Where are those whom you deem to be my associates? And we will draw forth from among every nation a witness and say, Bring your proof. Then shall they know that the truth is Allah's and that which they forged shall depart from them. 
Surely Karun was of the people of Musa, but he rebelled against them, and we had given him of the treasures, so much so that his hordes of wealth would certainly weigh down a company of men possessed of great strength. When his people said to him, Do not exult, surely Allah does not love the exultant, and seek by means of what Allah has given you the future abode, and do not neglect your portion of this world, and do good to others as Allah has done good to you, and do not seek to make mischief in the land. Surely Allah does not love the mischief makers. He said, I have been given this only on account of the knowledge I have. Did he not know that Allah had destroyed before him of the generations those who were mightier in strength than he and greater in assemblage? And the guilty shall not be asked about their faults. So he went forth to his people in his finery. Those who desired this world's life said, Oh, would that we had the like of what Karun is given? Most surely he is possessed of mighty good fortune. And those who were given the knowledge said, Woe to you! Allah's reward is better for him who believes and does good and none is made to receive this except the patient. Thus we made the earth to swallow up him and his abode. So he had no body of helpers to assist him against Allah, nor was he of those who can defend themselves. And those who yearned for his place only the day before began to say, Ah! Know that Allah amplifies and straightens the means of subsistence for whom he pleases of his servants. Had not Allah been gracious to us, he would most surely have abased us. Ah, know that the ungrateful are never successful. As for that future abode, we assign it to those who have no desire to exalt themselves in the earth nor to make mischief, and the good end is for those who guard against evil. Whoever brings good, he shall have better than it, and whoever brings evil, those who do evil shall not be rewarded for aught except what they did. Most surely he who has made the Qur'an biding on you will bring you back to the destination. Say, My Lord, knows best him who has brought the guidance and him who is in manifest error. And you did not expect that the book would be inspired to you, but it is a mercy from your Lord. Therefore, be not a backer up of the unbelievers, and let them not turn you aside from the communications of Allah after they have been revealed to you. And call men to your Lord, and be not of the polytheists, and call not with Allah any other God. There is no God but He, everything is perishable but He. His is the judgment, and to Him you shall be brought back. End of Surah 28Surah 29 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 29, The Spider, al ankabut revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim. Do men think that they will be left alone on saying, We believe and not be tried? And certainly we tried those before them. 
So Allah will certainly know those who are true and he will certainly know the liars. Or do they who work evil think that they will escape us? Evil is it that they judge. Whoever hopes to meet Allah, the term appointed by Allah, will then most surely come and he is the hearing, the knowing. And whoever strives hard, he strives only for his own soul. Most surely Allah is self-sufficient, above need of the world's. And as for those who believe and do good, we will most certainly do away with their evil deeds. And we will most certainly reward them the best of what they did. And we have enjoined on man goodness to his parents. And if they contend with you, that you should associate others with me, of which you have no knowledge, do not obey them. To me is your return, so I will inform you of what you did. And as for those who believe and do good, we will most surely cause them to enter among the good. And among men is he who says, we believe in Allah. But when he is persecuted in the way of Allah, he thinks the persecution of men to be as the chastisement of Allah. And if there come assistance from your Lord, they would most certainly say, surely we were with you. What? Is not Allah the best knower of what is in the breasts of mankind? And most certainly Allah will know those who believe and most certainly he will know the hypocrites. And those who disbelieve say to those who believe, follow our path and we will bear your wrongs. And never shall they be the bearers of any of their wrongs. Most surely they are liars. And most certainly they shall carry their own burdens and other burdens with their own burdens. And most certainly they shall be questioned on the resurrection day as to what they forged. And certainly we sent Nuh to his people, so he remained among them a thousand years, save fifty years. And the deluge overtook them while they were unjust. So we delivered him and the inmates of the ark and made it a sign to the nations. And we sent Ibrahim when he said to his people, Serve Allah and be careful of your duty to him. This is best for you if you did but know. You only worship idols besides Allah and you create a lie. Surely they whom you serve besides Allah do not control for you any sustenance. Therefore, seek the sustenance from Allah and serve him and be grateful to him. To him you shall be brought back. And if you reject the truth, nations before you did indeed reject the truth. And nothing is incumbent on the messenger but a plain delivering of the message. What? Do they not consider how Allah originates the creation, then reproduces it? Surely that is easy to Allah. Say, travel in the earth and see how he makes the first creation. Then Allah creates the latter creation. Surely Allah has power over all things. He punishes whom he pleases. 
and has mercy on whom he pleases, and to him you shall be turned back. And you shall not escape in the earth, nor in the heaven, and you have neither a protector nor a helper besides Allah. And as to those who disbelieve in the communications of Allah and his meeting, they have despaired of my mercy, and these it is that shall have a painful punishment. So note was the answer of his people, except that they said, Slay him or burn him. Then Allah delivered him from the fire. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. And he said, You have only taken for yourselves idols besides Allah by way of friendship between you in this world's life. Then on the resurrection day, some of you shall deny others, and some of you shall curse others, and your abode is the fire, and you shall not have any helpers. And Lut believed in him, and he said, I am fleeing to my Lord. Surely he is the mighty, the wise. And we granted him Ishaq and Yaqub, and caused the prophethood and the book to remain in his seed. And we gave him his reward in this world and in the hereafter. He will most surely be among the good. And we sent Lot when he said to his people, most surely you are guilty of an indecency which none of the nations has ever done before you. What? Do you come to the males and commit robbery on the highway and you commit evil deeds in your assemblies? But nothing was the answer of his people except that they said, Bring on us Allah's punishment, if you are one of the truthful. He said, My Lord, help me against the mischievous people. And when our messengers came to Ibrahim with the good news, they said, Surely we are going to destroy the people of this town, for its people are unjust. He said, Surely in it is loot. They said, We know well who is in it. We shall certainly deliver him and his followers, except his wife. She shall be of those who remain behind. And when our messengers came to loot, he was grieved on account of them, and he felt powerless to protect them. And they said, Fear not, nor grieve. Surely we will deliver you and your followers, except your wife. She shall be of those who remain behind. Surely we will cause to come down upon the people of this town a punishment from heaven because they transgressed. And certainly we have left a clear sign of it for a people who understand. And to Madian we sent their brother Shu'aib. So he said, O oh my people, serve Allah and fear the latter day, and do not act corruptly in the land, making mischief. But they rejected him, so a severe earthquake overtook them, and they became motionless bodies in their abode. And we destroyed Ad and Samud, and from their dwellings this is apparent to you indeed. And the shaitan made their deeds fair seeming to them, so he kept them back from the path, though they were endowed with intelligence and skill. And we destroyed Karun and Pharaoh and Haman, 
and certainly Musa came to them with clear arguments, but they behaved haughtily in the land, yet they could not outstrip us. So each we punished for his sin. Of them was he on whom we sent down a violent storm, and of them was he whom the rumbling overtook, and of them was he whom we made to be swallowed up by the earth, and of them was he whom we drowned, and it did not beseem Allah that he should be unjust to them, but they were unjust to their own souls. The parable of those who take guardians besides Allah is as the parable of the spider that makes for itself a house, and most surely the frailest of the houses is the spider's house. Did they but know? Surely Allah knows whatever thing they call upon besides him, and he is the mighty, the wise. And as for these examples, we set them forth for men, and none understand them but the learned. Allah created the heavens and the earth with truth. Most surely there is a sign in this for the believers. Recite that which has been revealed to you of the book and keep up prayer. Surely prayer keeps one away from indecency and evil, and certainly the remembrance of Allah is the greatest, and Allah knows what you do. And do not dispute with the followers of the book, except by what is best, except those of them who act unjustly and say, we believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you, and our Allah and your Allah is one, and to him do we submit. And thus have we revealed the book to you, so those whom we have given the book believe in it, and of these there are those who believe in it, and none deny our communications except the unbelievers. And you did not recite before it any book, nor did you transcribe one with your right hand, for then could those who say untrue things have doubted. Nay, these are clear communications in the breasts of those who are granted knowledge and none deny our communications except the unjust. And they say, why are not signs sent down upon him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah, and I am only a plain warner. Is it not enough for them that we have revealed to you the book which is recited to them? Most surely there is mercy in this and a reminder for a people who believe. Say Allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you. He knows what is in the heavens and the earth. And as for those who believe in the falsehood and disbelieve in Allah, these it is that are the losers. And they ask you to hasten on the chastisement, and had not a term been appointed, the chastisement would certainly have come to them, and most certainly it will come to them all of a sudden, while they will not perceive. They ask you to hasten on the chastisement, and most surely hell encompasses the unbelievers. On the day when the chastisement shall cover them from above them and from beneath their feet, and he shall say, Taste what you did. O my servants who believe, surely my earth is vast, therefore me alone should you serve. Every soul must taste of death 
then to us you shall be brought back. And as for those who believe and do good, we will certainly give them abode in the high places, in gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding therein, how good the reward of the workers. Those who are patient and on their Lord do they rely, and how many a living creature that does not carry its sustenance, Allah sustains it and yourselves, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth and made the sun and the moon subservient, they will certainly say, Allah, whence are they then turned away? Allah makes abundant the means of subsistence for whom he pleases of his servants and straightens them for whom he pleases. Surely Allah is cognizant of all things. And if you ask them who is it that sends down water from the clouds, then gives life to the earth with it after its death, they will certainly say Allah. Say all praise is due to Allah. Nay, most of them do not understand. And this life of the world is nothing but a sport and a play. And as for the next abode, that most surely is the life. Did they but know? So when they ride in the ships, they call upon Allah, being sincerely obedient to him. But when he brings them safe to the land, lo, they associate others with him. Thus they become ungrateful for what we have given them, so that they may enjoy, but they shall soon know. Do they not see that we have made a sacred territory secure, while men are carried off by force from around them? Will they still believe in the falsehood and disbelieve in the favor of Allah? And who is more unjust than one who forges a lie against Allah, or gives the lie to the truth when it has come to him? Will not in hell be the abode of the unbelievers? And as for those who strive hard for us, we will most certainly guide them in our ways, and Allah is most surely with the doers of good. End of Surah 29 Surah 30 of the Holy Qur'an Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 30, The Romans, a room revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim. The Romans are vanquished in a near land, and they, after being vanquished, shall overcome. Within a few years, Allah's is the command before and after. And on that day, the believers shall rejoice. With the help of Allah, he helps whom he pleases, and he is the mighty, the merciful. This is Allah's promise. Allah will not fail his promise, but most people do not know. They know the outward of this world's life, but of the hereafter they are absolutely heedless. Do they not reflect within themselves? Allah did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them too, but with truth and for an appointed term. And most surely, most of the people are deniers of the meeting of their Lord. Have they not traveled in the earth 
and seen how was the end of those before them, they were stronger than these in prowess, and dug up the earth and built on it in greater abundance than these have built on it. And there came to them their messengers with clear arguments, so it was not beseeming for Allah that he should deal with them unjustly, but they dealt unjustly with their own souls. Then evil was the end of those who did evil, because they rejected the communications of Allah and used to mock them. Allah originates the creation, then reproduces it, then to him you shall be brought back. And at the time when the hour shall come, the guilty shall be in despair, and they shall not have any intercessors from among their gods. They have joined with Allah, and they shall be deniers of their associate gods. And at the time when the hour shall come, at that time they shall become separated one from the other. Then as to those who believed and did good, they shall be made happy in a garden. And as to those who disbelieved and rejected our communications and the meeting of the hereafter, these shall be brought over to the chastisement. Therefore, glory be to Allah, when you enter upon the time of the evening and when you enter upon the time of the morning. And to him belongs praise in the heavens and the earth, and at nightfall and when you are at midday. He brings forth the living from the dead and brings forth the dead from the living and gives life to the earth after its death and thus shall you be brought forth. And one of his signs is that he created you from dust. Then lo, you are mortals who scatter. And one of his signs is that he created mates for you from yourselves, that you may find rest in them. And he put between you love and compassion. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who reflect. And one of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the diversity of your tongues and colors. Most surely there are signs in this for the learned. And one of his signs is your sleeping and your seeking of his grace by night and by day. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who would hear. And one of his signs is that he shows you the lightning for fear and for hope and sends down water from the clouds, then gives life therewith to the earth after its death. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who understand. And one of his signs is that the heaven and the earth subsist by his command. Then when he calls you with a single call from out of the earth, lo, you come forth. And his is whoever is in the heavens and the earth, all are obedient to him. And he it is who originates the creation, then reproduces it, and it is easy to him, and his are the most exalted attributes in the heavens and the earth, and he is the mighty, the wise. He sets forth to you a parable relating to yourselves, have you among those whom your right hands possess partners in what we have given you for sustenance so that with respect to it you 
are alike, you fear them as you fear each other. Thus do we make the communications distinct for a people who understand. Nay, those who are unjust follow their low desires without any knowledge. So who can guide him whom Allah makes err, and they shall have no helpers? Then set your face upright for religion. In the right state, the nature made by Allah in which he has made men, there is no altering of Allah's creation that is the right religion, but most people do not know. Turning to him and be careful of your duty to him and keep up prayer and be not of the polytheists of those who divided their religion and became sects, every sect rejoicing in what they had with them. And when harm afflicts men, they call upon their Lord, turning to him. Then, when he makes them taste of mercy from him, lo, some of them begin to associate others with their Lord. So, as to be ungrateful for what we have given them, but enjoy yourselves for a while, for you shall soon come to know. Or have we sent down upon them an authority so that it speaks of that which they associate with him? And when we make people taste of mercy, they rejoice in it. And if an evil befall them for what their hands have already wrought, lo, they are in despair. Do they not see that Allah makes ample provision for whom he pleases or straightens? Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. Then give to the near of kin his due, and to the needy and the wayfarer. This is best for those who desire Allah's pleasure, and these it is who are successful. And whatever you lay out as usury, so that it may increase in the property of men, it shall not increase with Allah. And whatever you give in charity, desiring Allah's pleasure, it is these persons that shall get manifold. Allah is he who created you, then gave you sustenance, then he causes you to die, then brings you to life. Is there any of your associate gods who does aught of it? Glory be to him and exalted be he above what they associate with him. Corruption has appeared in the land and the sea on account of what the hands of men have wrought, that he may make them taste a part of that which they have done, so that they may return. Say, travel in the land, then see how was the end of those before. Most of them were polytheists. Then turn thy face straight to the right religion, before there come from Allah the day which cannot be averted. On that day they shall become separated. Whoever disbelieves, he shall be responsible for his disbelief. And whoever does good, they prepare good for their own souls, that he may reward those who believe and do good out of his grace. Surely he does not love the unbelievers. And one of his signs is that he sends forth the winds bearing good news, and that he may make your taste of his mercy, and that the ships may run by his command, 
and that you may seek of his grace, and that you may be grateful. And certainly we sent before you messengers to their people, so they came to them with clear arguments. Then we gave the punishment to those who were guilty, and helping the believers is ever incumbent on us. Allah is he who sends forth the winds so they raise a cloud. Then he spreads it forth in the sky as he pleases, and he breaks it up so that you see the rain coming forth from inside it. Then when he causes it to fall upon whom he pleases, of his servants, lo, they are joyful. Though they were before this, before it was sent down upon them, confounded in sure despair, look then at the signs of Allah's mercy, how he gives life to the earth after its death. Most surely he will raise the dead to life, and he has power over all things. And if we send a wind and they see it to be yellow, they would after that certainly continue to disbelieve. For surely you cannot make the dead to hear, and you cannot make the deaf to hear the call when they turn back and flee. Nor can you lead away the blind out of their error. You cannot make to hear any but those who believe in our communications, so they shall submit. Allah is he who created you from a state of weakness, then he gave strength after weakness, then ordained weakness and hoary hair after strength. He creates what he pleases, and he is the knowing, the powerful. And at that time, when the hour shall come, the guilty shall swear that they did not tarry but an hour. Thus are they ever turned away, and those who are given knowledge and faith will say, Certainly you tarried according to the ordinance of Allah till the day of resurrection, so this is the day of resurrection, but you did not know. But on the day their excuse shall not profit those who were unjust, nor shall they be regarded with good will. And certainly we have set forth for men every kind of example in this Quran. And if you should bring them a communication, those who disbelieve would certainly say, you are not but false claimants. Thus does Allah set a seal on the hearts of those who do not know. Therefore be patient. Surely the promise of Allah is true. And let not those who have no certainty hold you in light estimation. End of Surah 30 Surah 31 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 31, Luqman, revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim. These are verses of the Book of Wisdom, a guidance and a mercy for the doers of goodness, those who keep a prayer and pay the poor rate, and they are certain of the hereafter. These are on a guidance from their Lord, and these are they who are successful. And of men is he who takes instead frivolous discourse 
to lead astray from Allah's path without knowledge and to take it for a mockery, these shall have an abasing chastisement. And when our communications are recited to him, he turns back proudly, as if he had not heard them, as though in his ears were a heaviness. Therefore, announce to him a painful chastisement. As for those who believe and do good, they shall surely have gardens of bliss, abiding in them the promise of Allah a true promise, and he is the mighty, the wise. He created the heavens without pillars, as you see them, and put mountains upon the earth, lest it might convulse with you. And he spread in it animals of every kind, and we sent down water from the cloud, then caused to grow therein vegetation of every noble kind. This is Allah's creation, but show me what those besides him have created. Nay, the unjust are in manifest error, and certainly we gave wisdom to Luqman, saying, Be grateful to Allah, and whoever is grateful, he is only grateful for his own soul, and whoever is ungrateful, then surely Allah is self-sufficient, praised. And when Luqman said to his son, while he admonished him, O my son, do not associate aught with Allah. Most surely polytheism is a grievous iniquity. And we have enjoined man in respect of his parents. His mother bears him with faintings upon faintings, and his weaning takes two years, saying, Be grateful to me and to both your parents. To me is the eventual coming. And if they contend with you that you should associate with me, what you have no knowledge of, do not obey them. And keep company with them in this word kindly, and follow the way of him who turns to me, then to me is your return, then will I inform you of what you did. O my son, surely if it is the very weight of the grain of a mustard seed, even though it is in the heart of rock, or high above in the heaven, or deep down in the earth, Allah will bring it to light. Surely Allah is knower of subtleties aware. O oh my son, keep up prayer and enjoin the good and forbid the evil, and bear patiently that which befalls you. Surely these acts require courage. And do not turn your face away from people in contempt, nor go about in the land exulting over much. Surely Allah does not love any self-conceited boaster. And pursue the right course in your going about and lower your voice. Surely the most hateful of voices is braying of the asses. Do you not see that Allah has made what is in the heavens and what is in the earth subservient to you and made complete to you? his favors outwardly and inwardly, and among men is he who disputes in respect of Allah, though having no knowledge, nor guidance, nor a book giving light. And when it is said to them, follow what Allah has revealed, they say, nay, we follow that on which we found our fathers, what? though the shaitan calls them to the chastisement of the burning fire. And whoever submits himself wholly to Allah, and he is the doer of good to others, he indeed has taken hold of the firmest thing, upon which one can lay hold, and Allah's is the end of affairs.
and whoever disbelieves, let not his disbelief grieve you. To us is their return. Then will we inform them of what they did surely. Allah is the knower of what is in the breasts. We give them to enjoy a little. Then will we drive them to a severe chastisement. And if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will certainly say, Allah, say all praise is due to Allah. Nay, most of them do not know. What is in the heavens and the earth is Allah's. Surely Allah is the self-sufficient, the praise. And where every tree that is in the earth made into pens and the sea to supply it with ink, with seven more seas to increase it, the words of Allah would not come to an end. Surely Allah is mighty, wise. Neither your creation nor your raising is anything but as a single soul. Surely Allah is hearing, seeing. Do you not see that Allah makes the night to enter into the day? and he makes the day to enter into the night, and he has made the sun and the moon subservient to you. Each pursues its course till an appointed time, and that Allah is aware of what you do. This is because Allah is the truth, and that which they call upon besides him is the falsehood, and that Allah is the high, the great. Do you not see that the ships run on in the sea by Allah's favor, that he may show you of his signs? Most surely there are signs in this for every patient endurer, grateful one. And when a wave like mountains covers them, they call upon Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. But when he brings them safe to the land, some of them follow the middle course, and none denies our signs, but every perfidious, ungrateful one. O people, guard against the punishment of your Lord, and dread the day when a father shall not make any satisfaction for his son, nor shall the child be the maker of any satisfaction for his father. Surely the promise of Allah is true, Therefore, let not this world's life deceive you, nor let the arch deceiver deceive you in respect of Allah. Surely Allah is he with whom is the knowledge of the hour, and he sends down the rain, and he knows what is in the wombs, and no one knows what he shall earn on the morrow, and no one knows in what land he shall die, Surely Allah is knowing, aware. End of Surah 31。Surah 32 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 32, the worship, a sagda, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, the revelation of the book, there is no doubt in it, is from the Lord of the worlds. Or do they say, he has forged it? Nay, it is the truth from your Lord, that you may warn a people to whom no warner has come before you, that they may follow the right direction. Allah is he who created the heavens and the earth, and what is between them in six periods, and he mounted the throne of authority. You have not besides him any guardian or any intercessor. Will you not then mind he regulates the affair from the heaven to the earth. Then shall it ascend to him in a day, the measure of which is a thousand years of what you count. 
This is the knower of the unseen and the seen, the mighty, the merciful, who made good everything that he has created, and he began the creation of man from dust. Then he made his progeny of an extract of water, held in light estimation. Then he made him complete and breathed into him of his spirit, and made for you the ears and the eyes and the hearts. Little is it that you give thanks. And they say, What? When we have become lost in the earth, Shall we then certainly be in a new creation? Nay, they are disbelievers in the meeting of their Lord. Say, the angel of death who is given charge of you shall cause you to die. Then to your Lord you shall be brought back. And could you but see when the guilty shall hang down their heads before their Lord, our Lord, we have seen and we have heard, therefore send us back, we will do good, surely now we are certain. And if we had pleased, we would certainly have given to every soul its guidance. But the word which had gone forth from me was just, I will certainly fill hell with the jinn and men together. So taste, because you neglected the meeting of this day of yours. Surely we forsake you, and taste the abiding chastisement for what you did. Only they believe in our communications, who, when they are reminded of them, fall down in prostration and celebrate the praise of their Lord, and they are not proud. Their sides draw away from their beds. They call upon their Lord in fear and in hope, and they spend benevolently out of what we have given them. So no soul knows what is hidden for them. Of that which will refresh the eyes, a reward for what they did. Is he then who is a believer like him, who is a transgressor, they are not equal. As for those who believe and do good, the gardens are their abiding place, an entertainment for what they did. And as for those who transgress, their abode is the fire. Whenever they desire to go forth from it, they shall be brought back into it, and it will be said to them, Taste the chastisement of the fire which you called a lie. And most certainly we will make them taste of the nearer chastisement before the greater chastisement, that haply they may turn. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the communications of his Lord, than he turns away from them? Surely we will give punishment to the guilty. And certainly we gave the book to Musa, so be not in doubt concerning the receiving of it. And we made it a guide for the children of Israel. And we made of them imams to guide by our command when they were patient and they were certain of our communications. Surely your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection, concerning that wherein they differ. Does it not point out to them the right way how many of the generations in whose abodes they go about did we destroy before them? Most surely there are signs in this. Will they not then hear? Do they not see that we drive the water to a land having no herbage, then we bring forth thereby seed produce, of which their cattle and they themselves eat. Will they not then see? And they say, When will this judgment take place, if you are truthful? 
Say on the day of judgment, the faith of those who now disbelieve will not profit them, nor will they be respited. Therefore, turn away from them and wait. Surely they too are waiting. End of Surah 32 Surah 33 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 33, The Cleanse, Al-Ahzab, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O Prophet, be careful of your duty to Allah and do not comply with the wishes of the unbelievers and the hypocrites. Surely Allah is knowing wise. And follow what is revealed to you from your Lord. Surely Allah is aware of what you do and rely on Allah and Allah is sufficient for a protector. Allah has not made for any man two hearts within him, nor has he made your wives whose backs you liken to the backs of your mothers as your mothers, nor has he made those whom you assert to be your sons, your real sons. These are the words of your mouth, and Allah speaks the truth, and he guides to the way. Assert their relationship to their fathers. This is more equitable with Allah. But if you do not know their fathers, then they are your brethren in faith and your friends. And there is no blame on you concerning that in which you made a mistake but concerning that which your hearts do purposely, blame may rest on you, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. The Prophet has a greater claim on the faithful than they have on themselves, and his wives are as their mothers, and the possessors of relationship have the better claim in the ordinance of Allah to inheritance, one with respect to another, then other believers, and then those who have fled their homes, except that you do some good to your friends. This is written in the book. And when we made a covenant with the prophets and with you, and with Nuh and Ibrahim and Musa and Isa, son of Maryam, and we made with them a strong covenant that he may question the truthful of their truth, and he has prepared for the unbelievers a painful punishment. O oh, you who believe, call to mind the favor of Allah to you when there came down upon you hosts, so we sent against them a strong wind and hosts that you saw not, and Allah is seeing what you do. When they came upon you from above you and from below you, and when the eyes turned dull, and the hearts rose up to the throats, and you began to think diverse thoughts of Allah. There the believers were tried and they were shaken with severe shaking. And when the hypocrites and those in whose hearts was a disease began to say, Allah and his messenger did not promise us victory, but only to deceive. And when a party of them said, O people of Yasrib, there is no place to stand for you here. Therefore go back and a party of them asked permission of the Prophet, 
saying, Surely our houses are exposed. And they were not exposed. They only desired to fly away. And if an entry were made upon them from the outlying parts of it, then they were asked to wage war. They would certainly have done it, and they would not have stayed in it but a little while. And certainly they had made a covenant with Allah before that they would not turn their backs, and Allah's covenant shall be inquired of. Say, flight shall not do you any good if you fly from death or slaughter, and in that case you will not be allowed to enjoy yourselves but a little. Say, who is it that can withhold you from Allah if he intends to do you evil? Rather, he intends to show you mercy, and they will not find for themselves besides Allah any guardian or a helper. Allah knows indeed those among you who hinder others and those who say to their brethren, Come to us, and they come not to the fight but a little, being niggardly with respect to you. But when fear comes, you will see them looking to you, their eyes rolling like one swooning because of death. But when the fear is gone, they smite you with sharp tongues, being niggardly of the good things. These have not believed, therefore Allah has made their doing naught. And this is easy to Allah. They think the allies are not gone. And if the allies should come again, they would fain be in the deserts with the desert Arabs asking for news about you. And if they were among you, they would not fight save a little. Certainly you have in the messenger of Allah an excellent exemplar for him who hopes in Allah and the latter day and remembers Allah much. And when the believers saw the allies, they said, This is what Allah and his messenger promised us. And Allah and his messenger spoke the truth, and it only increased them in faith and submission. Of the believers are men who are true to the covenant which they made with Allah. So of them is he who accomplished his vow, and of them is he who yet waits, and they have not changed in the least. That Allah may reward the truthful for their truth, and punish the hypocrites if he please or turn to them mercifully. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And Allah turned back the unbelievers in their rage. They did not obtain any advantage. And Allah sufficed the believers in fighting. And Allah is a strong, mighty. And he drove down those of the followers of the book who backed them from their fortresses, and he cast all into their hearts. Some you killed, and you took captive another part. And he made you heirs to their land and their dwellings, and their property, and to a land which you have not yet trodden. And Allah has power over all things. O Prophet, Say to your wives, if you desire this world's life and its adornment, then come, I will give you a provision and allow you to depart a goodly departing. And if you desire Allah and his messenger and the latter abode, then surely Allah has prepared for the doers of good 
among you a mighty reward. O wives of the Prophet, whoever of you commits an open indecency, the punishment shall be increased to her doubly, and this is easy to Allah. And whoever of you is obedient to Allah and his messenger and does good, we will give to her her reward doubly, and we have prepared for her an honorable sustenance. O wives of the Prophet, you are not like any other of the women. If you will be on your guard, then be not soft in your speech, lest he in whose heart is a disease yearn and speak a good word. And stay in your houses and do not display your finery like the displaying of the ignorance of your, and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and obey Allah and his messenger. Allah only desires to keep away the uncleanness from you, O people of the house, and to purify you a thorough purifying, and keep to mind what is recited in your houses of the communications of Allah and the wisdom. Surely Allah is knower of subtleties aware. Surely the men who submit and the women who submit and the believing men and the believing women and the obeying men and the obeying women and the truthful men and the truthful women and the patient men and the patient women and the humble men and the humble women and the alms-giving men and the alms-giving women and the fasting men and the fasting women, and the men who guard their private parts, and the women who guard, and the men who remember Allah much, and the women who remember. Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a mighty reward. And it behooves not a believing man and a believing woman that they should have any choice in their matter, when Allah and his messenger have decided a matter, and whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, he surely strays off a manifest straying. And when you said to him, to whom Allah had shown favor, and to whom you had shown a favor, keep your wife to yourself, and be careful of your duty to Allah and you concealed in your soul what Allah would bring to light, and you feared men, and Allah had a greater right that you should fear him. But when Zaid had accomplished his want of her, we gave her to you as a wife, so that there should be no difficulty for the believers in respect of the wives of their adopted sons. When they have accomplished their want of them, and Allah's command shall be performed, there is no harm in the Prophet doing that which Allah has ordained for him. Such has been the course of Allah with respect to those who have gone before, and the command of Allah is a decree that is made absolute. Those who deliver the messages of Allah and fear him and do not fear anyone but Allah and Allah is sufficient to take account. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men but he is the messenger of Allah and the last of the prophets and Allah is cognizant of all things. O you who believe Remember Allah, remembering frequently, and glorify Him morning and evening. He it is who sends His blessings on you, and so do His angels, 
that he may bring you forth out of utter darkness into the light, and he is merciful to the believers. Their salutation on the day that they meet him shall be peace, and he has prepared for them an honorable reward. O Prophet, surely we have sent you as a witness and as a bearer of good news and as a warner and as one inviting to Allah by his permission, and as a light giving torch, and give to the believers the good news, that they shall have a great grace from Allah, and be not compliant to the unbelievers and the hypocrites, and leave unregarded their annoying talk, and rely on Allah, and Allah is sufficient as a protector. O oh, you who believe, when you marry the believing women, then divorce them before you touch them. You have in their case no term which you should reckon. So make some provision for them and send them forth a goodly sending forth. O oh, Prophet, Surely we have made lawful to you your wives whom you have given their dowries and those whom your right hand possesses out of those whom Allah has given to you as prisoners of war and the daughters of your paternal uncles and the daughters of your paternal aunts and the daughters of your maternal uncles, and the daughters of your maternal aunts, who fled with you. And a believing woman, if she gave herself to the Prophet, if the Prophet desired to marry her, especially for you, not for the rest of believers, we know what we have ordained for them, concerning their wives and those whom their right hands possess in order that no blame may attach to you and Allah is forgiving merciful you may put off whom you please of them and you may take to you whom you please and whom you desire of those whom you had separated provisionally no blame attaches to you. This is most proper so that their eyes may be cool and they may not grieve and that they should be pleased, all of them with what you give them. And Allah knows what is in your hearts and Allah is knowing, forbearing. It is not allowed to you to take women after words, nor that you should change them for other wives, though their beauty be pleasing to you. Accept what your right hand possesses, and Allah is watchful over all things. O oh, you who believe, do not enter the houses of the Prophet unless permission is given to you for a meal not waiting for its cooking, being finished. But when you are invited, enter, and when you have taken the food, then disperse. Not seeking to listen to talk, surely this gives the Prophet trouble, but he forbears from you, and Allah does not forbear from the truth. And when you ask of them any goods, ask of them from behind a curtain. This is purer for your hearts and for their hearts, and it does not behove you that you should give trouble to the Messenger of Allah, nor that you should marry his wives after him ever. Surely this is grievous in the sight of Allah. If you do a thing openly or do it in secret, then surely Allah is cognizant of all things. 
There is no blame on them in respect of their fathers, nor their brothers, nor their brothers' sons, nor their sisters' sons, nor their own women, nor of what their right hands possess, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is a witness of all things. Surely Allah and his angels bless the Prophet. O oh, you who believe, call for divine blessings on him and salute him with a becoming salutation. Surely, as for those who speak evil things of Allah and his messenger, Allah has cursed them in this world and the hereafter, and he has prepared for them a chastisement bringing disgrace. And those who speak evil things of the believing men and the believing women, without their having earned it, they are guilty indeed of a false accusation and a manifest sin. O Prophet, say to your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers that they let down upon them their overgarments. This will be more proper that they may be known and thus they will not be given trouble. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. If the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is a disease and the agitators in the city do not desist, we shall most certainly set you over them. Then they shall not be your neighbors in it but for a little while. Cursed wherever they are found, they shall be seized and murdered, a horrible murdering. Such has been the course of Allah with respect to those who have gone before, and you shall not find any change in the course of Allah. Men ask you about the hour. Say the knowledge of it is only with Allah, and what will make you comprehend that the hour may be nigh. Surely Allah has cursed the unbelievers and has prepared for them a burning fire. To abide therein for a long time, they shall not find a protector or a helper. On the day when their faces shall be turned back into the fire, they shall say, O oh, would that we had obeyed Allah and obeyed the Messenger? And they shall say, O oh, our Lord, surely we obeyed our leaders and our great men, so they led us astray from the path. O oh, our Lord, give them a double punishment and curse them with a great curse. O oh, you who believe, be not like those who spoke evil things of Musa, but Allah cleared him of what they said, and he was worthy of regard with Allah. O oh, you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah, and speak the right word. He will put your deeds into a right state for you, and forgive you your faults, and whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he indeed achieves a mighty success. Surely we offered the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refused to be unfaithful to it and feared from it, and man has turned unfaithful to it. Surely he is unjust, ignorant. So Allah will chastise the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women and the polytheistic men and the polytheistic women. And Allah will turn mercifully to the believing women. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. End of Surah 33.
Surah 34 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 34, Saba, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, whose is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and to him is due all praise in the hereafter, and he is the wise, the aware. He knows that which goes down into the earth, and that which comes out of it, and that which comes down from the heaven, and that which goes up to it and he is the merciful, the forgiving. And those who disbelieve say, the hour shall not come upon us. Say, yea, by my Lord, the knower of the unseen. It shall certainly come upon you, not the weight of an atom becomes absent from him, in the heavens or in the earth, and neither less than that nor greater but all is in a clear book, that he may reward those who believe and do good. This it is for whom is forgiveness and an honorable sustenance. And as for those who strive hard in opposing our communications, these it is for whom is a painful chastisement of an evil kind. And those to whom the knowledge has been given, see that which has been revealed to you from your Lord. That is the truth, and it guides into the path of the mighty, the praised. And those who disbelieve say, Shall we point out to you a man who informs you that when you are scattered, the utmost scattering, you shall then be most surely raised into a new creation. He has forged a lie against Allah, or there is madness in him. Nay, those who do not believe in the hereafter are in torment and in great error. Do they not then consider what is before them? and what is behind them of the heaven and the earth. If we please, we will make them disappear in the land, or bring down upon them a portion from the heaven. Most surely there is a sign in this for every servant turning to Allah. And certainly we give to the wood excellence from us, O mountains, Sing praises with him, and the birds and we made the iron pliant to him, saying, Make ample coats of mail, and assign a time to the making of coats of mail, and do good, surely I am seeing what you do. And we made the wind subservient to Suleiman which made a month journey in the morning and a month journey in the evening. And we made a fountain of molten copper to flow out for him. And of the jinn there were those who worked before him by the command of his Lord. And whoever turned aside from our command from among them, we made him taste of the punishment of burning. They made for him what he pleased of fortresses and images, and bowels large as watering troughs, and cooking pots that will not move from their place. Give thanks, O family of the wood, and very few of my servants are grateful. But when we decreed death for him, naught showed them his death, but a creature of the earth that ate away his staff. And when it fell down, the jinn came to know plainly that if they had known the unseen, 
they would not have tarried in abasing torment. Certainly there was a sign for Sabah in their abode, two gardens on the right and the left. Eat of the sustenance of your Lord and give thanks to him, a good land and a forgiving Lord. But they turned aside. So we sent upon them a torrent of which the rush could not be withstood. And in place of their two gardens, we gave to them two gardens, yielding bitter fruit and growing tamarisk and a few luti trees. This we requited them with because they disbelieved, and we do not punish any but the ungrateful. And we made between them and the towns which we had blessed other towns to be easily seen. And we apportioned the journey therein, travel through them nights and days secure. And they said, O our Lord, make spaces to be longer between our journeys and they were unjust to themselves. So we made them stories and scattered them with an utter scattering. Most surely there are signs in this for every patient, grateful one. And certainly the shaitan found true his conjecture concerning them. So they follow him except a party of the believers. And he has no authority over them, but that we may distinguish him who believes in the hereafter from him who is in doubt concerning it. And your Lord is the preserver of all things. Say, call upon those whom you assert besides Allah, they do not control the weight of an atom in the heavens or in the earth, nor have they any partnership in either, nor has he among them anyone to back him up. And intercession will not avail aught with him, save of him whom he permits, until when fear shall be removed from their hearts, they shall say, what is it that your Lord said? They shall say the truth, and he is the Most High, the Great. Say, who gives you the sustenance from the heavens and the earth, say Allah, and most surely we or you are on a right way or in manifest error. Say, you will not be questioned as to what we are guilty of, nor shall we be questioned as to what you do. Say, our Lord will gather us together. Then will he judge between us with the truth, and he is the greatest judge, the all-knowing. Say, Show me those whom you have joined with him as associates. By no means can you do it. Nay, he is Allah, the mighty, the wise. And we have not sent you but to all the men as a bearer of good news and as a warner. But most men do not know. And they say, when will this promise be fulfilled? If you are truthful, say you have the appointment of a day from which you cannot hold back any while, nor can you bring it on. And those who disbelieve say, by no means will we believe in this Quran, nor in that which is before it. And could you see when the unjust shall be made to stand before their Lord, bandying words one with another. Those who were reckoned weak shall say to those who were proud, had it not been 
for you we would certainly have been believers. Those who were proud shall say to those who were deemed weak, Did we turn you away from the guidance after it had come to you? Nay, you yourselves were guilty. And those who were deemed weak shall say to those who were proud, Nay, it was planning by night and day, when you told us to disbelieve in Allah and to set up likes with him, and they shall conceal regret when they shall see the punishment, and we will put shackles on the necks of those who disbelieved. They shall not be requited, but what they did. And we never sent a warner to a town, but those who led lives in ease in it, said we are surely disbelievers in what you are sent with. And they say, we have more wealth and children, and we shall not be punished. Say, surely my Lord amplifies the means of subsistence for whom he pleases, and straightens for whom he pleases, but most men do not know. And not your wealth nor your children are the things which bring you near us in a station, but whoever believes and does good, these it is for whom is a double reward for what they do, and they shall be secure in the highest places. And as for those who strive in opposing our communications, they shall be caused to be brought to the chastisement. Say, surely my Lord amplifies the means of subsistence for whom he pleases of his servants and straightens them for whom he pleases. And whatever thing you spend, he exceeds it in reward, and he is the best of sustainers. And on the day when he will gather them all together, then will he say to the angels, Did these worship you? They shall say, Glory be to thee. Thou art our guardian, not they, nay, they worshipped the jinn. Most of them were believers in them. So on that day, one of you shall not control profit or harm for another. And we will say to those who were unjust, taste the chastisement of the fire, which you called a lie. And when our clear communications are recited to them, they say, this is not, but a man who desires to turn you away from that which your fathers worshipped. And they say, this is not, but a lie that is forged, and those who disbelieve say of the truth, when it comes to them, this is only clear enchantment. And we have not given them any books which they read, nor did we send to them before you a warner. And those before them rejected the truth, and these have not yet attained a tenth of what we gave them, but they gave the lie to my messengers. Then how was the manifestation of my disapproval? Say, I exhort you only to one thing, that rise up for Allah's sake, in twos and singly, then ponder, there is no madness in your fellow citizen. He is only a warner to you before a severe chastisement. Say, whatever reward I have asked of you, that is only for yourselves. My reward is only with Allah, and he is a witness of all things. Say, surely my Lord utters the truth, 
the great knower of the unseen. Say, the truth has come, and the falsehood shall vanish and shall not come back. Say, if I err, I err only against my own soul, and if I follow a right direction, it is because of what my Lord reveals to me. Surely he is hearing nigh. And could you see when they shall become terrified, but then there shall be no escape, and they shall be seized upon from a near place. And they shall say, We believe in it. And how shall the attaining of faith be possible to them from a distant place? And they disbelieved in it before, and they utter conjectures with regard to the unseen from a distant place. And a barrier shall be placed between them and that which they desire, as was done with the likes of them before. Surely they are in a disquieting doubt. End of Surah 34Surah 35 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 35, the originator, Father, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the originator of the heavens and the earth, the maker of the angels, messengers flying on wings two and three and four. He increases in creation what he pleases. Surely Allah has power over all things. Whatever Allah grants to men of his mercy, there is none to withhold it, and what he withholds, there is none to send it forth after that, and he is the mighty, the wise. O men, call to mind the favor of Allah on you. Is there any creator besides Allah who gives you sustenance from the heaven and the earth? There is no God but he. Whence are you then turned away? And if they call you a liar, truly messengers before you were called liars. And to Allah are all affairs returned. O men, surely the promise of Allah is true. Therefore, let not the life of this world deceive you. And let not the arch deceiver deceive you, respecting Allah. Surely the shaitan is your enemy, so take him for an enemy. He only invites his party that they may be inmates of the burning fire. As for those who disbelieve, they shall have a severe punishment. And as for those who believe, and do good, they shall have forgiveness and a great reward. What is he whose evil deed is made for seeming to him, so much so that he considers it good? Now surely Allah makes err whom he pleases and guides aright whom he pleases. So let not your soul waste away in grief for them. Surely Allah is cognizant of what they do. And Allah is he who sends the winds so they raise a cloud. Then we drive it onto a dead country. And therewith we give life to the earth after its death. Even so is the quickening. Whoever desires honor, then to Allah belongs the honor holy. 
to him do ascend the good words, and the good deeds lift them up. And as for those who plan evil deeds, they shall have a severe chastisement. And as for their plan, it shall perish. And Allah created you of dust, then of the life germ, then he made you pears, and no female bears, nor does she bring forth except with his knowledge. And no one whose life is lengthened has his life lengthened, nor is aught diminished of one's life. But it is all in a book. Surely this is easy to Allah. And the two seas are not alike. The one sweet that subdues thirst by its excessive sweetness, pleasant to drink, and the other salt that burns by its saltness. Yet from each of them you eat fresh flesh and bring forth ornaments which you wear, and you see the ships cleave through it that you may seek of his bounty, and that you may be grateful. He causes the night to enter in upon the day, and he causes the day to enter in upon the night, and he has made subservient to you, the sun and the moon. Each one follows its course to an appointed time. This is Allah, your Lord. His is the kingdom, and those whom you call upon besides him do not control as true. If you call on them, they shall not hear your call, and even if they could hear, they shall not answer you. And on the resurrection day, they will deny your associating them with Allah, and none can inform you like the one who is aware. O men, you are they who stand in need of Allah, and Allah is he who is the self-sufficient, the praised one. If he please, he will take you off and bring a new generation. And this is not hard to Allah. And a burdened soul cannot bear the burden of another and if one weighed down by burden, should cry for another to carry its burden. Not aught of it shall be carried even though he be near of kin. You warn only those who fear their Lord in secret and keep up prayer, and whoever purifies himself, he purifies himself only for the good of his own soul, and to Allah is the eventual coming. And the blind and the seeing are not alike, nor the darkness and the light, nor the shade and the heat. Neither are the living and the dead alike. Surely Allah makes whom he pleases here, and you cannot make those here who are in the graves. You are not but a warner. Surely we have sent you with the truth as the bearer of good news and a warner. And there is not a people, but a warner has gone among them. And if they call you a liar, so did those before them indeed call their messengers liars. Their messengers had come to them with clear arguments and with scriptures and with the illuminating book. Then did I punish those who disbelieved? So how was the manifestation of my disapproval? Do you not see that Allah sends down water from the cloud? Then we bring forth therewith fruits of various colors, and in the mountains are streaks white and red of various hues and others intensely black. 
and of men and beasts and cattle are various pieces of it likewise. Those of his servants only who are possessed of knowledge fear Allah. Surely Allah is mighty forgiving. Surely they who recite the book of Allah and keep up prayer and spend out of what we have given them secretly and openly, hope for a gain which will not perish, that he may pay them back fully their rewards and give them more out of his grace. Surely he is forgiving multiplier of rewards. And that which we have revealed to you of the book, that is the truth verifying that which is before it. Most surely with respect to his servants, Allah is aware seeing. Then we gave the book for an inheritance to those whom we chose from among our servants. But of them is he who makes his soul to suffer a loss. And of them is he who takes a middle course. And of them is he who is foremost in deeds of goodness by Allah's permission. This is the great excellence. Gardens of perpetuity. They shall enter therein. They shall be made to wear therein bracelets of gold and pearls, and their dress therein shall be silk. And they shall say, All praise is due to Allah, who has made grief to depart from us. Most surely our Lord is forgiving, multiplier of rewards who has made us a light in a house abiding forever, out of his grace. Toil shall not touch us therein, nor shall fatigue therein afflict us. And as for those who disbelieve, for them is the fire of hell. It shall not be finished with them entirely so that they should die nor shall the chastisement thereof be lightened to them. Even thus do we retribute every ungrateful one. And they shall cry therein for succor, O our Lord, take us out. We will do good deeds other than those which we used to do. Did we not preserve you alive long enough? so that he who would be mindful in it should mind. And there came to you the warner, therefore taste, because for the unjust there is no helper. Surely Allah is the knower of what is unseen in the heavens and the earth. Surely he is cognizant of what is in the hearts. He it is who made you rulers in the land. Therefore, whoever disbelieves, his unbelief is against himself, and their unbelief does not increase the disbelievers with their Lord in anything except hatred, and their unbelief does not increase the disbelievers in anything except loss. Say, have you considered your associates which you call upon besides Allah? Show me what part of the earth they have created, or have they any share in the heavens, or have we given them a book so that they follow a clear argument thereof? Nay, the unjust do not hold out promises one to another, but only to deceive. Surely Allah upholds the heavens and the earth, lest they come to naught, and if they should come to naught, there is none who can uphold them after him. Surely he is the forbearing, the forgiving.
and they swore by Allah with the strongest of their oaths that if there came to them a warner, they would be better guided than any of the nations. But when there came to them a warner, it increased them in naught but aversion. In behaving proudly in the land and in planning evil, and the evil plans shall not be set any save the authors of it. Then should they wait for aught except the way of the former people, for you shall not find any alteration in the course of Allah, and you shall not find any change in the course of Allah. Have they not traveled in the land and seen how was the end of those before them, while they were stronger than these in power. And Allah is not such that anything in the heavens or in the earth should escape him. Surely he is knowing powerful. And were Allah to punish men for what they earn, he would not leave on the back of it any creature but he respites them till an appointed term. So when their doom shall come, then surely Allah is seeing with respect to his servants. End of Surah 35. Surah 36 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 36 Yasin Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Yasin I swear by the Quran full of wisdom. Most surely you are one of the messengers on a right way a revelation of the mighty, the merciful, that you may warn a people whose fathers were not warned, so they are heedless. Certainly the word has proved true of most of them, so they do not believe. Surely we have placed chains on their necks, and these reach up to their chins, so they have their heads raised aloft, and we have made before them a barrier, and a barrier behind them. Then we have covered them over, so that they do not see. And it is alike to them, whether you warn them or warn them not, they do not believe. You can only warn him who follows the reminder and fears the beneficent Allah in secret, so announce to him forgiveness and an honorable reward. Surely we give life to the dead, and we write down what they have sent before, and their footprints, and we have recorded everything in a clear writing, and set out to them an example of the people of the town. When the messengers came to it, when we sent to them too, they rejected both of them. Then we strengthened them with a third. So they said, Surely we are messengers to you. They said, You are not but mortals like ourselves, nor has the beneficent Allah revealed anything. You only lie. They said, our Lord knows that we are most surely messengers to you, and nothing devolves on us but a clear deliverance of the message. They said, Surely we augure evil from you. If you do not desist, we will certainly stone you, and there shall be certainly afflict you a painful chastisement from us. They said, Your evil fortune is with you. What, if you are reminded? Nay, you are an extravagant people. And from the remote part of the city, there came a man running. He said, 
O oh, my people, follow the messengers. Follow him who does not ask you for reward, and they are the followers of the right course. And what reason have I that I should not serve him who brought me into existence, and to him you shall be brought back? What shall I take besides him God's whose intercession? If the beneficent Allah should desire to afflict me with a harm, shall not avail me aught, nor shall they be able to deliver me. In that case, I shall most surely be in clear error. Surely I believe in your Lord, therefore hear me. It was said, Enter the garden. He said, Oh, would that my people had known of that on account of which my Lord has forgiven me and made me of the honored ones? And we did not send down upon his people after him any hosts from heaven, nor do we ever send down. It was naught but a single cry, and lo, they were still. Alas for the servants, there comes not to them a messenger, but they mock at him. Do they not consider how many of the generations have we destroyed before them? because they do not turn to them, and all of them shall surely be brought before us, and assigned to them is the dead earth. We give life to it, and bring forth from it grain, so they eat of it, and we make therein gardens of palms, and grape vines, and we make springs to flow forth in it, that they may eat of the fruit thereof, and their hands did not make it, will they not then be grateful? Glory be to him who created pairs of all things, of what the earth grows, and of their kind, and of what they do not know, and assigned to them is the night, we draw forth from it the day, then lo, they are in the dark, and the sun runs on to a term, appointed for it that is the ordinance of the mighty the knowing and as for the moon we have ordained for it stages till it becomes again as an old dry palm branch neither is it allowable to the sun that it should overtake the moon nor can the night outstrip the day and all float on in a sphere and a sign to them is that we bear their offspring in the laden ship, and we have created for them the like of it, what they will ride on. And if we please, we can drown them, then there shall be no succorer for them, nor shall they be rescued, but by mercy from us, and for enjoyment till a time. And when it is said to them, Guard against what is before you, and what is behind you, that mercy may be had on you. And there comes not to them a communication of the communications of their Lord, but they turn aside from it. And when it is said to them, Spend out of what Allah has given you, those who disbelieve, say to those who believe, Shall we feed him whom, if Allah please, he could feed? You are in note but clear error. And they say, When will this threat come to pass, if you are truthful? They wait not for aught but a single cry, which will overtake them, while they yet contend with one another, so they shall not be able to make a bequest, nor shall they return to their families, and the trumpet shall be blown, when lo, from their graves they shall hasten unto their Lord. They shall say, O oh, woe to us, who has raised us up from our sleeping place,
This is what the beneficent Allah promised, and the messengers told the truth. There would be naught but a single cry, when lo, they shall all be brought before us. So this day no soul shall be dealt with unjustly in the least, and you shall not be rewarded aught but that which you did. Surely the dwellers of the garden shall on that day be in an occupation quite happy. They and their wives shall be in shades, reclining on raised couches. They shall have fruits therein, and they shall have whatever they desire. Peace, a word from a merciful Lord, and get aside today, O guilty ones. Did I not charge you, O children of Adam, that you should not serve the shaitan? Surely he is your open enemy, and that you should serve me, this is the right way. And certainly he led astray numerous people from among you. What? Could you not then understand? This is the hell with which you were threatened. Enter into it this day, because you disbelieved. On that day we will set a seal upon their mouth and their hands shall speak to us, and their feet shall bear witness of what they earned. And if we please, we would certainly put out their eyes, then they would run about groping for the way, but how should they see? And if we please, we would surely transform them in their place, then they would not be able to go on nor will they return, and whomsoever we cause to live long, we reduce him to an abject state in constitution. Do they not then understand? And we have not taught him poetry, nor is it meet for him. It is nothing but a reminder and a plain Quran, that it may warn him who would have life and that the word may prove true against the unbelievers. Do they not see that we have created cattle for them, out of what our hands have wrought, so they are their masters, and we have subjected them to them, so some of them they have to ride upon, and some of them they eat and therein they have advantages and drinks, will they not then be grateful? And they have taken gods besides Allah, that they may be helped, but they shall not be able to assist them, and they shall be a host brought up before them. Therefore let not their speech grieve you, surely we know what they do in secret, and what they do openly. Does not man see that we have created him from the small seed? Then lo, he is an open disputant, and he strikes out a likeness for us, and forgets his own creation. Says he, Who will give life to the bones when they are rotten? Say, He will give life to them, who brought them into existence at first, and he is cognizant of all creation. He who has made for you the fire to burn from the green tree, so that with it you kindle fire, is not he who created the heavens and the earth able to create the like of them? Yea, and he is the creator of all, the knower, his command, when he intends anything, is only to say to it, Be, so it is. Therefore glory be to him in whose hand is the kingdom of all things, and to him you shall be brought back. End of Surah 36
Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 37 Those who set the ranks, a Safat, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by those who draw themselves out in ranks, then those who drive away with reproof, then those who recite being mindful, most surely your Allah is one, the Lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them, and Lord of the east. Surely we have adorned the nearest heaven with an adornment, the stars, and there is a safeguard against every rebellious shaitan. They cannot listen to the exalted assembly, and they are thrown at from every side, being driven off, and for them is a perpetual chastisement, except him who snatches off but once, then there follows him a brightly shining flame. Then ask them whether they are stronger in creation or those others whom we have created. Surely we created them of firm clay. Nay, you wonder while they mock, and when they are reminded, they mind not, and when they see a sign, they incite one another to scoff. And they say, this is nothing but clear magic. What? When we are dead and have become dust and bones, shall we then certainly be raised? Or our fathers of yore say, I, and you shall be abject. So it shall only be a single cry, when lo, they shall see. And they shall say, O oh, woe to us, this is the day of requital. This is the day of the judgment which you called a lie. Gather together those who were unjust and their associates, and what they used to worship. Besides Allah, then lead them to the way to hell, and stop them, for they shall be questioned. What is the matter with you that you do not help each other? Nay, on that day they shall be submissive, and some of them shall advance towards others, questioning each other. They shall say, Surely you used to come to us from the right side. They shall say, Nay, you yourselves were not believers. And we had no authority over you, but you were an inordinate people. So the sentence of our Lord has come to pass against us. Now we shall surely taste. So we led you astray, for we ourselves were erring. So they shall on that day be sharers in the chastisement one with another. Surely thus do we deal with the guilty. Surely they used to behave proudly when it was said to them, There is no God but Allah. And to say, What shall we indeed give up our gods for the sake of a mad poet? Nay, he has come with the truth and verified the messengers. Most surely you will taste the painful punishment, and you shall not be rewarded except for what you did. Save the servants of Allah, the purified ones, for them is a known sustenance. Fruits and they shall be highly honored in gardens of pleasure, on thrones facing each other, a bowl shall be made to go round them from water running out of springs, white, delicious to those who drink. There shall be no trouble in it, 
nor shall they be exhausted therewith. And with them shall be those who restrain, the eyes having beautiful eyes, as if they were eggs carefully protected. Then shall some of them advance to others, questioning each other. A speaker from among them shall say, Surely I had a comrade of mine, who said, What? Are you indeed of those who accept the truth? What, when we are dead and have become dust and bones, shall we then be certainly brought to judgment? He shall say, Will you look on? Then he looked down and saw him in the midst of hell. He shall say, By Allah, you had almost caused me to perish. And had it not been for the favor of my Lord, I would certainly have been among those brought up. Is it then that we are not going to die? except our previous death, and we shall not be chastised. Most surely this is the mighty achievement. For the like of this, then let the workers work. Is this better as an entertainment or the tree of Zakum? Surely we have made it to be a trial to the unjust. Surely it is a tree that grows in the bottom of the hell. Its produce is as it were the heads of the serpents. Then most surely they shall eat of it and fill their bellies with it. Then most surely they shall have after it to drink of a mixture prepared in boiling water. Then most surely their return shall be to hell. Surely they found their fathers going astray. So in their footsteps they are being hastened on. And certainly most of the ancients went astray before them. And certainly we sent among them warners. Then see how was the end of those warned, except the servants of Allah, the purified ones. And Nuh did certainly call upon us, and most excellent answer of prayer are we. And we delivered him and his followers from the mighty distress. And we made his offspring the survivors, and we perpetuated to him praise among the later generations. Peace and salutation to Nuh among the nations. Thus do we surely reward the doers of good. Surely he was of our believing servants. Then we drowned the others. And most surely Ibrahim followed his way. When he came to his Lord with a free heart, when he said to his father and his people, What is it that you worship? A lie? Gods besides Allah? Do you desire? What is then your idea about the Lord of the world? Then he looked at the stars looking up once. Then he said, Surely I am sick of your worshipping these. So they went away from him, turning back. Then he turned aside to their gods secretly and said, What? Do you not eat? What is the matter with you that you do not speak? Then he turned against them secretly, smiting them with the right hand. So the people advanced towards him, hastening. Said he, What? Do you worship what you hew out? And Allah has created you and what you make. They said, Build for him a furnace, then cast him into the burning fire. And they desired a war against him, but we brought them law. And he said, 
Surely I fly to my Lord, he will guide me. My Lord grant me of the doers of good deeds. So we give him the good news of a boy possessing forbearance. And when he attained to working with him, he said, O oh, my son, surely I have seen in a dream that I should sacrifice you. Consider then what you see. He said, O oh, my father, do what you are commanded. If Allah please, you will find me of the patient ones. So when they both submitted and he threw him down upon his forehead, and we called out to him, saying, O Ibrahim, you have indeed shown the truth of the vision. Surely thus do we reward the doers of good. Most surely this is a manifest trial. And we ransomed him with a feet sacrifice. And we perpetuated praise to him among the later generations. Peace be on Ibrahim. Thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely he was one of our believing servants. And we gave him the good news of Ishaq, a prophet among the good ones. And we showered our blessings on him and on Ishaq. And of their offspring are the doers of good and also those who are clearly unjust to their own souls. And certainly we confirmed a favor on Musa and Harun, and we delivered them both and their people from the mighty distress, and we helped them so they were the vanquishes, and we gave them both the book that made things clear. And we guided them both on the right way. And we perpetuated praise to them among the later generations. Peace be on Musa and Harun. Even thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely they were both of our believing servants. And Elias was most surely of the messengers. When he said to his people, Do you not guard against evil? What? Do you call upon Baal and forsake the best of the creators? Allah, your Lord and the Lord of your fathers of yore. But they called him a liar. Therefore, they shall most surely be brought up. But not the servants of Allah the purified ones, and we perpetuated to him praise among the later generations. Peace be on Elias, even thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely he was one of our believing servants, and Lot was most surely of the messengers. When we delivered him and his followers, all except an old woman who was amongst those who tarried. Then we destroyed the others, and most surely you pass by them in the morning and at night. Do you not then understand? And Eunice was most surely of the messengers, when he ran away to a ship completely laden. So he shared with them, but was of those who are cast off. So the fish swallowed him while he did that, for which he blamed himself. But had it not been that he was of those who glorify us, he would certainly have tarried in its belly to the day when they are raised. Then we cast him onto the vacant surface of the earth while he was sick, and we caused to grow up for him a gourd plant, and we sent him to a hundred thousand, rather they exceeded, and they believed, so we gave them provision till a time. 
then ask them whether your Lord has daughters and they have sons. Or did we create the angels females while they were witnesses? Now surely it is not of their own lie that they say, Allah has begotten and most surely they are liars. Has he chosen daughters in preference to sons? What is the matter with you? How is it that you judge? Will you not then mind? Or have you a clear authority? Then bring your book if you are truthful. And they assert a relationship between him and the jinn. And certainly the jinn do know that they shall surely be brought up. Glory be to Allah for freedom from what they describe, but not so the servants of Allah, the purified ones. So surely you and what you worship. Not against him can you cause any to fall into trial. Save him who will go to hell. And there is none of us but has an assigned place. And most surely we are they who draw themselves out in ranks. And we are most surely they who declare the glory of Allah. And surely they used to say, Had we a reminder from those of yore, we would certainly have been the servants of Allah, the purified ones. But now they disbelieve in it, so they will come to know. And certainly our word has already gone forth in respect of our servants, the messengers. Most surely they shall be the assisted ones, and most surely our host alone shall be the victorious ones. Therefore turn away from them till a time. And then see them so they too shall see. What would they then hasten on our chastisement? But when it shall descend in their court, evil shall then be the mourning of the warned ones. And turn away from them till a time. And then see for they too shall see. Glory be to your Lord, the Lord of honor above what they describe, and peace be on the messengers, and all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. End of Surah 37 Surah 38 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 38, the letter Saad, Saad revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, Saad, I swear by the Quran, full of admonition. Nay, those who disbelieve are in self-exaltation and opposition. How many did we destroy before them of the generations? Then they cried while the time of escaping had passed away. And they wonder that there has come to them a warner from among themselves. And the disbelievers say, this is an enchanter, a liar. What makes he the gods a single Allah? A strange thing is this, to be sure. And the chief persons of them break forth, saying, Go and steadily adhere to your gods. This is most surely a thing sought after. We never heard of this in the former faith. This is nothing but a forgery. Has the reminder been revealed to him from among us? Nay, they are in doubt as to my reminder. Nay, they have not yet tasted my chastisement. 
or is it that they have the treasures of the mercy of your Lord, the mighty, the great giver? Or is it that theirs is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth? And what is between them? Then let them ascend by any means. A host of deserters of the allies shall be here put to flight. The people of Nuh and Ad and Pharaoh, the Lord of Spikes, rejected messengers before them. And Samud and the people of Lut and the dwellers of the thicket these were the parties. There was none of them but called the messengers liars, so just was my retribution. Nor do these await aught but a single cry, there being no delay in it. And they say, O our Lord, hasten unto us our portion before the day of reckoning. Bear patiently what they say, and remember our servant Dawood, the possessor of power. Surely he was frequent in returning to Allah. Surely we made the mountains to sing the glory of Allah in unison with him at the evening and the sunrise. And the birds gathered together all joined in singing with him. And we strengthened his kingdom, and we gave him wisdom and the clear judgment. And has there come to you the story of the litigants when they made an entry into the private chamber by ascending over the walls? When they entered in upon the wood, and he was frightened at them. They said, Fear not, to litigants of whom one has acted wrongfully towards the other. Therefore decide between us with justice, and do not act unjustly, and guide us to the right way. Surely this is my brother. He has ninety-nine ewes, and I have a single you, but he said, make it over to me, and he has prevailed against me in this course. He said, surely he has been unjust to you in demanding your you to add to his own use, and most surely most of the partners act wrongfully towards one another. Save those who believe and do good, and very few are they. And the wood was sure that we had tried him, so he sought the protection of his Lord, and he fell down bowing and turned time after time to him. Therefore we rectified for him this, and most surely he had a nearness to us and an excellent resort. O Dawood, surely we have made you a ruler in the land, so judge between men with justice, and do not follow desire, lest it should lead you astray from the path of Allah. As for those who go astray from the path of Allah, they shall surely have a severe punishment, because they forgot the day of reckoning. And we did not create the heaven and the earth and what is between them in vain. That is the opinion of those who disbelieve. Then woe to those who disbelieve on account of the fire. Shall we treat those who believe and do good like the mischief makers in the earth? Or shall we make those who guard against evil like the wicked? It is a book we have revealed to you abounding in good that they may ponder over its verses and that those endowed with understanding may be mindful. 
and we give to Dawood Sulaiman. Most excellent, the servant, surely he was frequent in returning to Allah. When there were brought to him in the evening horses, still when standing, swift when running. Then he said, surely I preferred the good things to the remembrance of my Lord until the sun set and time for Asr prayer was over. He said, bring them back to me. So he began to slash their legs and necks. And certainly we tried Sulaiman, and we put on his throne a mere body. So he turned to Allah. He said, My Lord, do thou forgive me and grant me a kingdom which is not fit for being inherited by anyone after me. Then we made the wind subservient to him. It made his command to run gently wherever he desired. And the shaitans, every builder and diver, and others fettered in chains. This is our free gift, therefore give freely or withhold, without reckoning. And most surely he had a nearness to us and an excellent resort. And remember our servant Ayyub, when he called upon his Lord, the shaitan has afflicted me with toil and torment. Err with your foot, here is a cool washing place and a drink. And we gave him his family and the like of them with them, as a mercy from us and as a reminder to those possessed of understanding. And take in your hand a green branch and beat her with it and do not break your oath. Surely we found him patient, most excellent the servant. Surely he was frequent in returning to Allah. And remember our servants Ibrahim and Ishaq and Ya'qub, men of power and insight. Surely we purified them by a pure quality, the keeping in mind of the final abode. And most surely they were with us, of the elect the best. And remember Ismail and Elyasa and Zilkifl, and they were all of the best. This is a reminder, and most surely there is an excellent resort for those who guard against evil. The gardens of perpetuity, the doors are opened for them. Reclining therein, calling therein for many fruits and drink. And with them shall be those restraining their eyes equals in age. This is what you are promised for the day of reckoning. Most surely this is our sustenance. It shall never come to an end. This shall be so. And most surely there is an evil resort for the inordinate ones. Hell, they shall enter it, so evil is the resting place. This shall be so, so let them taste it, boiling and intensely cold drink. And other punishment of the same kind, of various sorts. This is an army plunging in without consideration, along with you. No welcome for them, surely they shall enter fire. They shall say, nay, you no welcome to you. You did proffer it to us, so evil is the resting place. They shall say, our Lord, whoever prepared it first for us, add thou to him a double chastisement in the fire. 
and they shall say, what is the matter with us that we do not see men whom we used to count among the vicious? Was it that we only took them in scorn or have our eyes now turned aside from them? That most surely is the truth, the contending one with another of the inmates of the fire. Say, I am only a warner, and there is no God but Allah, the one, the subduer of all, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, the mighty, the most forgiving. Say, it is a message of importance, and you are turning aside from it. I had no knowledge of the exalted chiefs when they contended. Naught is revealed to me, save that I am a plain warner. When your Lord said to the angels, Surely I am going to create a mortal from dust. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, then fall down making obeisance to him. And the angels did obeisance, all of them, but not Iblis. He was proud and he was one of the unbelievers. He said, O Iblis, what prevented you that you should do obeisance to him, whom I created with my two hands? Are you proud or are you of the exalted ones? He said, I am better than he. Thou hast created me of fire, and him thou didst create of dust. He said, Then get out of it, for surely you are driven away, and surely my curse is on you to the day of judgment. He said, My Lord, then respite me to the day that they are raised. He said, Surely you are of the respited ones, till the period of the time made known. He said, Then by thy might I will surely make them live an evil life all, except thy servants from among them, the purified ones. He said, The truth then is and the truth do I speak, that I will most certainly fill hell with you and with those among them who follow you all. Say, I do not ask you for any reward for it, nor am I of those who affect. It is nothing but a reminder to the nations, and most certainly you will come to know about it after a time. End of Surah 38 Surah 39 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 39, the troops, as Zomr, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the wise. Surely we have revealed to you the book with the truth. Therefore, serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. Now surely sincere obedience is due to Allah alone. And as for those who take guardians besides him, saying, We do not serve them, save that they may make us nearer to Allah. Surely Allah will judge between them, in that in which they differ. Surely Allah does not guide him aright, who is a liar, ungrateful. 
If Allah desires to take a son to himself, he will surely choose those he pleases from what he has created. Glory be to him. He is Allah, the one, the subduer of all. He has created the heavens and the earth with the truth. He makes the night cover the day and makes the day overtake the night. And he has made the sun and the moon subservient. Each one runs on to an assigned term. Now surely he is the mighty, the great forgiver. He has created you from a single being, then made its mate of the same kind. And he has made for you eight of the cattle in pearls. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, a creation after a creation, in triple darkness. That is Allah, your Lord. His is the kingdom. There is no God but he. Whence are you then turned away? If you are ungrateful, then surely Allah is self-sufficient above all need of you. And he does not like ungratefulness in his servants. And if you are grateful, he likes it in you. And no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return. Then will he inform you of what you did. Surely he is cognizant of what is in the breasts. And when distress afflicts a man, he calls upon his Lord, turning to him frequently. Then when he makes him possess a favor from him, he forgets that for which he called upon him before, and sets up rivals to Allah, that he may cause men to stray off from his path. Say, enjoy yourself in your ungratefulness a little. Surely you are of the inmates of the fire. What? He who is obedient during hours of the night, prostrating himself and standing, takes care of the hereafter and hopes for the mercy of his Lord. Say, are those who know and those who do not know alike? Only the men of understanding are mindful. Say, O my servants who believe, be careful of your duty to your Lord. For those who do good in this world is good, and Allah's earth is spacious, only the patient will be paid back the reward in full without measure. Say, I am commanded that I should serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. And I am commanded that I shall be the first of those who submit. Say, I fear if I disobey my Lord the chastisement of a grievous day. Say, Allah, it is whom I serve, being sincere to him in my obedience. Serve then what you like besides him. Say, the losers surely are those who shall have lost themselves and their families on the day of resurrection. Now, surely that is the clear loss. They shall have coverings of fire above them and coverings beneath them. With that, Allah makes his servants to fear. So be careful of your duty to me, O my servants. And as for those who keep off from the worship of the idols and turn to Allah, they shall have good news. Therefore, give good news to my servants. Those who listen to the word, then follow the best of it. Those are they whom Allah has guided, and those it is who are the men of understanding. What? As for him, then against whom the sentence of chastisement is due. What? 
can you save him who is in the fire? But as for those who are careful of their duty to their Lord, they shall have high places, above them higher places, built for them beneath which flow rivers. This is the promise of Allah. Allah will not fail in his promise. Do you not see that Allah sends down water from the cloud, then makes it go along in the earth in springs? then brings forth therewith herbage of various colors. Then it withers so that you see it becoming yellow. Then he makes it a thing crushed and broken into pieces. Most surely there is a reminder in this for the men of understanding. What is he whose heart Allah has opened for Islam so that he is in a light from his Lord, like the hard-hearted, nay, woe to those whose hearts are hard against the remembrance of Allah. Those are in clear error. Allah has revealed the best announcement, a book conformable in its various parts, repeating whereat do shudder the skins of those who fear their Lord. Then their skins and their hearts become pliant to the remembrance of Allah. This is Allah's guidance. He guides with it whom he pleases. And as for him whom Allah makes err, there is no guide for him. Is he then who has to guard himself with his own person against the evil chastisement? on the resurrection day, and it will be said to the unjust, taste what you earned. Those before them rejected prophets. Therefore there came to them the chastisement from whence they perceived not. So Allah made them taste the disgrace in this world's life, and certainly the punishment of the hereafter is greater. Did they but know? And certainly we have set forth to men in this Quran similitudes of every sort that they may mind. An Arabic Quran without any crookedness that they may guard against evil. Allah sets forth an example. There is a slave in whom are several partners differing with one another, and there is another slave wholly owned by one man. Are the two alike in condition? All praise is due to Allah. Nay, most of them do not know. Surely you shall die, and they too shall surely die. Then surely on the day of resurrection you will contend one with another before your Lord. Who is then more unjust than he who utters a lie against Allah and he who gives the lie to the truth? When it comes to him, is there not in hell an abode for the unbelievers? And he who brings the truth and he who accepts it as the truth, these are they that guard against evil. They shall have with their Lord what they please. That is the reward of the doers of good. So that Allah will do away with the worst of what they did and give them their reward for the best of what they do. Is not Allah sufficient for his servant? And they seek to frighten you with those besides him. And whomsoever Allah makes err, there is no guide for him. And whom Allah guides, there is none that can lead him astray. Is not Allah mighty, the Lord of retribution? And should you ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? They would most certainly say Allah. Say, have you then considered that what you call upon besides Allah, would they 
If Allah desire to afflict me with harm, be the removers of his harm. Or would they, if Allah desire to show me mercy, be the withholders of his mercy? Say, Allah is sufficient for me. On him do the reliant rely. Say, O my people, work in your place. Surely I am a worker, so you will come to know who it is to whom there shall come a punishment which will disgrace him and to whom will be due a lasting punishment. Surely we have revealed to you the book with the truth for the sake of men. So whoever follows the right way, it is for his own soul. And whoever errs, he errs only to its detriment. And you are not a custodian over them. Allah takes the souls at the time of their death. And those that die not during their sleep, then he withholds those on whom he has passed the decree of death and sends the others back till an appointed term. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who reflect. Or have they taken intercessors besides Allah? Say, what, even though they did not ever have control over anything, nor do they understand. Say, Allah's is the intercession altogether. His is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Then to him you shall be brought back. And when Allah alone is mentioned, the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter shrink, and when those besides him are mentioned, Lo, they are joyful. Say, O Allah, originator of the heavens and the earth, knower of the unseen and the seen, thou only judgest between thy servants as to that wherein they differ, and had those who are unjust all that is in the earth and the like of it with it, they would certainly offer it as ransom to be saved from the evil of the punishment on the day of resurrection, and what they never thought of shall become plain to them from Allah. And the evil consequences of what they wrote shall become plain to them, and the very thing they mocked at shall beset them. So when harm afflicts a man, he calls upon us. Then when we give him a favor from us, he says, I have been given it only by means of knowledge. Nay, it is a trial, but most of them do not know. Those before them did say it indeed, but what they earned availed them not. So there befell them the evil consequences of what they earned. And as for those who are unjust from among these, there shall befall them the evil consequences of what they earn, and they shall not escape. Do they not know that Allah makes ample the means of subsistence to whom he pleases, and he straightens most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. Say, O my servants who have acted extravagantly against their own souls, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Surely Allah forgives the faults altogether. Surely he is the forgiving, the merciful. And return to your Lord, time after time, and submit to him before there comes to you the punishment, then you shall not be helped. And follow the best that has been revealed to you from your Lord before there comes to you the punishment, all of a sudden while you do not even perceive. 
Lest a soul should say, Oh, woe to me, for what I fell short of my duty to Allah, and most surely I was of those who laughed to scorn. Or it should say, Had Allah guided me, I would certainly have been of those who guard against evil. Or it should say, when it sees the punishment, were there only a returning for me, I should be of the doers of good. I, my communications came to you, but you rejected them, and you were proud, and you were one of the unbelievers. And on the day of resurrection you shall see those who lied against Allah, their faces shall be blackened. Is there not in hell an abode for the proud? And Allah shall deliver those who guard against evil with their achievement. Evil shall not touch them, nor shall they grieve. Allah is the creator of everything, and he has charge over everything. His are the treasures of the heavens and the earth. And as for those who disbelieve in the communications of Allah, these it is that are the losers. Say, what? Do you then bid me serve others than Allah? O oh, ignorant men! And certainly it has been revealed to you and to those before you. Surely if you associate with Allah, your work would certainly come to naught, and you would certainly be of the losers. Nay, but serve Allah alone and be of the thankful, and they have not honored Allah with the honor that is due to him. And the whole earth shall be in his grip on the day of resurrection, and the heavens rolled up in his right hand. Glory be to him, and may he be exalted above what they associate with him. And the trumpet shall be blown, so all those that are in the heavens and all those that are in the earth shall swoon except such as Allah please. Then it shall be blown again. Then lo, they shall stand up awaiting. And the earth shall beam with the light of its Lord, and the book shall be laid down, and the prophets and the witnesses shall be brought up, and judgment shall be given between them with justice, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. And every soul shall be paid back fully what it has done, and he knows best what they do. And those who disbelieve shall be driven to hell in companies until when they come to it. Its doors shall be opened, and the keepers of it shall say to them, Did not there come to you messengers from among you, reciting to you the communications of your Lord, and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They shall say, Yea, but the sentence of punishment was due against the unbelievers. It shall be said, Enter the gates of hell to abide therein, so evil is the abode of the proud. And those who are careful of their duty to their Lord shall be conveyed to the garden in companies, until when they come to it, and its doors shall be opened, and the keepers of it shall say to them, Peace be on you, you shall be happy, therefore enter it to abide. And they shall say, All praise is due to Allah, who has made good to us his promise, and he has made us inherit the land. We may abide in the garden where we please, so goodly is the reward of the workers. And you shall see the angels going round about the throne, glorifying the praise of their Lord, 
and judgment shall be given between them with justice. And it shall be said, All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. End of Surah 39. Surah 40 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 40, the Forgiver God, Ghaifer, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful, Hameem. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the knowing, the forgiver of the faults and the acceptor of repentance. Severe to punish, Lord of bounty, there is no God but he. To him is the eventual coming. None dispute concerning the communications of Allah, but those who disbelieve Therefore, let not their going to and fro in the cities deceive you. The people of Nuh and the parties after them rejected prophets before them, and every nation purposed against their messenger to destroy him, and they disputed by means of the falsehood that they might thereby Render null the truth. Therefore I destroyed them. How was then my retribution? And thus did the word of your Lord prove true against those who disbelieved that they are the inmates of the fire. Those who bear the power and those around him celebrate the praise of their Lord and believe in him, and ask protection for those who believe. Our Lord, thou embracest all things in mercy and knowledge. Therefore grant protection to those who turn to thee, and follow thy way, and save them from the punishment of the hell. Our Lord, and make them enter the gardens of perpetuity which thou hast promised to them and those who do good of their fathers and their wives and their offspring surely thou art the mighty the wise and keep them from evil deeds and whom thou keepest from evil deeds this day indeed thou hast mercy on him and that is the mighty achievement. Surely those who disbelieve shall be cried out to. Certainly Allah's hatred of you when you were called upon to the faith and you rejected is much greater than your hatred of yourselves. They shall say, Our Lord, twice dist, Thou make us subject to death, and twice hast thou given us life. So we do confess our faults. Is there then a way to get out? That is because when Allah alone was called upon, you disbelieved, and when associates were given to him, you believed. So judgment belongs to Allah the high, the great. He it is who shows you his signs and sends down for you sustenance from heaven, and none minds but he who turns to him again and again. Therefore call upon Allah, being sincere to him in obedience, though the unbelievers are averse. Possessor of the highest rank, Lord of power, he makes the inspiration to light by his command upon whom he pleases of his servants, that he may warn men of the day of meeting. 
of the day when they shall come forth, nothing concerning them remains hidden to Allah, to whom belongs the kingdom this day, to Allah, the one, the subduer of all. This day, every soul shall be rewarded for what it has earned. No injustice shall be done this day. Surely Allah is quick in reckoning. And warn them of the day that draws near, when hearts shall rise up to the throats, grieving inwardly. The unjust shall not have any compassionate friend, nor any intercessor who should be obeyed. He knows the stealthy looks and that which the breasts conceal, and Allah judges with the truth, and those whom they call upon besides him cannot judge aught. Surely Allah is the hearing, the seeing. Have they not traveled in the earth and seen how was the end of those who were before them? Mightier than these were they in strength and in fortifications in the land. But Allah destroyed them for their sins and there was not for them any defender against Allah. That was because there came to them their messengers with clear arguments, but they rejected them. Therefore Allah destroyed them. Surely he is strong, severe in retribution. And certainly we sent Musa with our communications and clear authority to Ferran and Haman and Karun, but they said, a lying magician. So when he brought to them the truth from us, they said, slay the sons of those who believe with him and keep their women alive. And the struggle of the unbelievers will only come to a state of perdition. And Ferran said, let me alone that I may slay Musa and let him call upon his Lord. Surely I fear that he will change your religion or that he will make mischief to appear in the land. And Musa said, Surely I take refuge with my Lord and your Lord from every proud one who does not believe in the day of reckoning. And a believing man of Pharaoh's people, who hid his faith, said, What? Will you slay a man because he says, My Lord is Allah? And indeed he has brought to you clear arguments from your Lord. And if he be a liar, on him will be his lie. And if he be truthful, there will befall you some of that which he threatens you with. Surely Allah does not guide him who is extravagant a liar. O my people, yours is the kingdom this day, being masters in the land, but who will help us against the punishment of Allah? If it come to us, Pharaoh said, I do not show you aught but that which I see myself, and I do not make you follow any but the right way. And he who believed said, O oh, my people, surely I fear for you the like of what befell the parties, the like of what befell the people of Nuh and Ad and Samud and those after them. And Allah does not desire injustice for his servants. And O oh, my people, I fear for you the day of calling out, the day on which you will turn back retreating. There shall be no savior for you from Allah. 
and whomsoever Allah causes to err, there is no guide for him. And certainly Yusuf came to you before with clear arguments, but you ever remained in doubt as to what he brought. Until when he died, you said, Allah will never raise a messenger after him. Thus does Allah cause him to err, who is extravagant a doubter. Those who dispute concerning the communications of Allah without any authority that he has given them, greatly hated is it by Allah and by those who believe Thus does Allah set a seal over the heart of every proud haughty one. And Pharaoh said, O Haman, build for me a tower that I may attain the means of access. The means of access to the heavens then reach the God of Musa, and I surely think him to be a liar. And thus the evil of his deed was made fair seeming to Pharaoh, and he was turned away from the way, and the struggle of Pharaoh was not to end in aught but destruction. And he who believed said, O my people, follow me, I will guide you to the right course. O my people, this life of the world is only a passing enjoyment, and surely the hereafter is the abode to settle. Whoever does an evil, he shall not be recompensed with oath, but the like of it, and whoever does good, whether male or female, and he is a believer, these shall enter the garden in which they shall be given sustenance without measure. And, O oh my people, how is it that I call you to salvation and you call me to the fire? You call on me that I should disbelieve in Allah and associate with him that of which I have no knowledge, and I call you to the mighty, the most forgiving. No doubt that what you call me to has no title to be called to in this world, nor in the hereafter, and that our turning back is to Allah, and that the extravagant are the inmates of the fire. So you shall remember what I say to you, and I entrust my affair to Allah. Surely Allah sees the servants. So Allah protected him from the evil consequences of what they planned, and the most evil punishment overtook Pharaoh's people. The fire, they shall be brought before it every morning and evening, and on the day when the hour shall come to pass, make Pharaoh's people enter the severest chastisement. And when they shall contend one with another in the fire, then the weak shall say to those who were proud, Surely we were your followers. Will you then avert from us a portion of the fire? Those who were proud shall say, Surely we are all in it. Surely Allah has judged between the servants. And those who are in the fire shall say to the keepers of hell, Call upon your Lord that he may lighten to us one day of the punishment. They shall say, Did not your messengers come to you with clear arguments? They shall say, Yea. They shall say, then call, and the call of the unbelievers is only in error. Most surely we help our messengers and those who believe in this world's life and on the day when the witnesses shall stand up. The day on which their excuse shall not benefit the unjust, 
and for them is curse, and for them is the evil abode. And certainly we gave Musa the guidance, and we made the children of Israel inherit the book. A guidance and a reminder to the men of understanding. Therefore be patient. Surely the promise of Allah is true and ask protection for your fault and sing the praise of your Lord in the evening and the morning. Surely as for those who dispute about the communications of Allah without any authority that has come to them, there is not in their breasts but a desire to become great which they shall never attain to. Therefore seek refuge in Allah, surely he is the hearing, the seeing. Certainly the creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than the creation of the men, but most people do not know, and the blind and the seeing are not alike, nor those who believe and do good and the evil doer. Little is it that you are mindful. Most surely the hour is coming. There is no doubt therein. But most people do not believe. And your Lord says, Call upon me, I will answer you. Surely those who are too proud for my service shall soon enter hell abased. Allah is he who made for you the night that you may rest therein, and the day to see most surely Allah is gracious to men, but most men do not give thanks. That is Allah, your Lord, the creator of everything. There is no God but he. Whence are you then turned away? Thus were turned away those who denied the communications of Allah. Allah is he who made the earth a resting place for you, and the heaven a canopy, and he formed you, then made goodly your forms, and he provided you with goodly things. That is Allah, your Lord. Blessed then is Allah, the Lord of the worlds. He is the living, there is no God but he. Therefore call on him, being sincere to him in obedience. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Say, I am forbidden to serve those whom you call upon, besides Allah, when clear arguments have come to me from my Lord, and I am commanded that I should submit to the Lord of the worlds. He it is who created you from dust, then from a small life germ, then from a clot, then he brings you forth as a child, then that you may attain your maturity then that you may be old, and of you there are some who are caused to die before, and that you may reach an appointed term, and that you may understand. He it is who gives life and brings death, so when he decrees an affair, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Have you not seen those who dispute with respect to the communications of Allah, how are they turned away? Those who reject the book and that with which we have sent our messengers, but they shall soon come to know. When the fetters and the chains shall be on their necks, they shall be dragged into boiling water, then in the fire shall they be burnt. Then shall it be said to them, Where is that which you used to set up? Besides Allah, they shall say, They are gone away from us. Nay, we used not to call upon anything before, 
Thus does Allah confound the unbelievers. That is because you exalted in the land unjustly, and because you behaved insolently, enter the gates of hell to abide therein. Evil then is the abode of the proud. So be patient, surely the promise of Allah is true. So should we make you see part of what we threaten them with, or should we cause you to die, to us shall they be returned. And certainly we sent messengers before you. There are some of them that we have mentioned to you, and there are others whom we have not mentioned to you. And it was not meet for a messenger that he should bring a sign except with Allah's permission. But when the command of Allah came, judgment was given with truth, and those who treated it as a lie were lost. Allah is he who made the cattle for you, that you may ride on some of them, and some of them you eat, and there are advantages for you in them and that you may attain thereon a want which is in your breasts, and upon them and upon the ships you are born. And he shows you his signs, which then of Allah's signs will you deny? Have they not then journeyed in the land, and seen how was the end of those before them? They were more in numbers than these and greater in strength and in fortifications in the land, but what they earned did not avail them. Then when their messengers came to them with clear arguments, they exulted in what they had with them of knowledge, and there beset them that which they used to mock. But when they saw our punishment, they said, We believe in Allah alone, and we deny what we used to associate with him. But their belief was not going to profit them. When they had seen our punishment, this is Allah's law, which has indeed obtained in the matter of his servants, and there the unbelievers are lost. End of Surah 40 Surah 41 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 41 Explained in detail Fussilat Revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ha -meem. A revelation from the beneficent, the merciful Allah. A book of which the verses are made plain. An Arabic Quran for a people who know. A herald of good news and a warner but most of them turn aside so they hear not. And they say, our hearts are under coverings from that to which you call us, and there is a heaviness in our ears, and the veil hangs between us and you, so work, we too are working. Say, I am only a mortal like you. It is revealed to me that your Allah is one Allah. Therefore follow the right way to him and ask his forgiveness and woe to the polytheists, to those who do not give poor rate and they are unbelievers in the hereafter. As for those who believe and do good, they shall surely have a reward never to be cut off. Say, what do you indeed disbelieve in him who created the earth in two periods? And do you set up equals with him? 
that is the Lord of the worlds. And he made in it mountains above its surface, and he blessed the rin and made the rin its foods in four periods, alike for the seekers. Then he directed himself to the heaven, and it is a vapor. So he said to it and to the earth, come both willingly or unwillingly. They both said, we come willingly. So he ordained them seven heavens in two periods and revealed in every heaven its affair. And we adorned the lower heaven with brilliant stars and made it to guard that is the decree of the mighty, the knowing. But if they turn aside, then say, I have warned you of a scourge like the scourge of Ad and Samud. When their messengers came to them from before them and from behind them, saying, Serve nothing but Allah, they said, If our Lord had pleased, he would certainly have sent down angels. So we are surely unbelievers in that with which you are sent. Then as to Ad, they were unjustly proud in the land, and they said, Who is mightier in strength than we? Did they not see that Allah who created them was mightier than they in strength, and they denied our communications. So we sent on them a furious wind in unlucky days, that we may make them taste the chastisement of abasement in this world's life, and certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is much more abasing and they shall not be helped. And as to Samud, we showed them the right way, but they chose error above guidance. So there overtook them the scourge of an abasing chastisement for what they earned. And we delivered those who believed and guarded against evil. And on the day, that the enemies of Allah shall be brought together to the fire, then they shall be formed into groups. Until when they come to it, their ears and their eyes and their skins shall bear witness against them as to what they did. And they shall say to their skins, Why have you borne witness against us? They shall say, Allah who makes everything speak has made us speak, and he created you at first, and to him you shall be brought back. And you did not veil yourselves, lest your ears and your eyes and your skins should bear witness against you. But you thought that Allah did not know most of what you did. And that was your evil thought, which you entertained about your Lord, that has tumbled you down into perdition. So are you become of the lost ones? Then if they will endure, still the fire is their abode. And if they ask for goodwill, then are they not of those who shall be granted goodwill. And we have appointed for them comrades, so they have made fair seeming to them. What is before them, and what is behind them, and the word proved true against them, among the nations of the jinn, and the men that have passed away before them, that they shall surely be losers. And those who disbelieve say, Do not listen to this Quran, and make noise therein. Perhaps you may overcome. 
Therefore, we will most certainly make those who disbelieve taste a severe punishment, and we will most certainly reward them for the evil deeds they used to do. That is the reward of the enemies of Allah, the fire, for them therein shall be the house of long abiding, a reward for their denying our communications. And those who disbelieve will say, Our Lord, show us those who led us astray from among the jinn and the men, that we may trample them under our feet, so that they may be of the lowest. As for those who say, Our Lord is Allah, then continue in the right way. The angels descend upon them, saying, Fear not, nor be grieved, and receive good news of the garden which you were promised. We are your guardians in the world's life and in the hereafter, and you shall have therein what your souls desire, and you shall have therein what you ask for. A provision from the forgiving the merciful. And who speaks better than he who calls to Allah, while he himself does good, and says, I am surely of those who submit. And not alike are the good and the evil. Repel evil with what is best. When lo, he between whom and you was enmity would be as if he were a warm friend. And none are made to receive it but those who are patient, and none are made to receive it but those who have a mighty good fortune. And if an interference of the shaitan should cause you mischief, Seek refuge in Allah. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. And among his signs are the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. Do not prostrate to the sun nor to the moon, and prostrate to Allah, who created them. If him, it is that you serve. But if they are proud, Yet those with your Lord glorify him during the night and the day, and they are not tired. And among his signs is this, that you see the earth still, but when we send down on it the water, it stirs and swells. Most surely he who gives it life is the giver of life to the dead. Surely he has power over all things. Surely they who deviate from the right way concerning our communications are not hidden from us. What? Is he then who is cast into the fire better or he who comes safe on the day of resurrection? Do what you like. Surely he sees what you do. Surely those who disbelieve in the reminder when it comes to them, and most surely it is a mighty book. Falsehood shall not come to it, from before it nor from behind it, a revelation from the wise, the praised one. Note is said to you, but what was said indeed to the messengers before you. Surely your Lord is the Lord of forgiveness and the Lord of painful retribution. And if we had made it a Quran in a foreign tongue, they would certainly have said, why have not its communications been made clear? What a foreign tongue and an Arabian say, it is to those who believe a guidance and a healing. And as for those who do not believe, there is a heaviness in their ears, and it is obscure to them. These shall be called to from a far-off place. 
and certainly we gave the book to Musa, but it has been differed about, and had not a word already gone forth from your Lord. Judgment would certainly have been given between them, and most surely they are in a disquieting doubt about it. Whoever does good, it is for his own soul, and whoever does evil, it is against it, and your Lord is not in the least unjust to the servants. To him is referred the knowledge of the hour, and there come not forth any of the fruits from their coverings, nor does a female bear, nor does she give birth, but with his knowledge, and on the day when he shall call out to them, where are those whom you called my associates? They shall say, we declare to thee, none of us is a witness. And away from them shall go what they called upon before, and they shall know for certain that there is no escape for them. Man is never tired of praying for good, and if evil touch him, then he is despairing, hopeless. And if we make him taste mercy from us after distress that has touched him, he would most certainly say, this is of me, and I do not think the hour will come to pass. And if I am sent back to my Lord, I shall have with him sure good but we will most certainly inform those who disbelieved of what they did, and we will most certainly make them taste of hard chastisement. And when we show favor to man, he turns aside and withdraws himself, and when evil touches him, he makes lengthy supplications. Say, Tell me if it is from Allah, then you disbelieve in it. Who is in greater error than he who is in a prolonged opposition? We will soon show them our signs in the universe and in their own souls until it will become quite clear to them that it is the truth. Is it not sufficient as regards your Lord that he is a witness over all things? Now surely they are in doubt as to the meeting of their Lord. Now surely he encompasses all things. End of Surah 41 Surah 42 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 42, Council, Shura, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ha, Mim, Ain, Sin, of. Thus does Allah, the mighty, the wise, reveal to you, and thus he revealed to those before you. His is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and he is the high, the great. The heavens may almost rend asunder from above them, and the angels sing the praise of their Lord and ask forgiveness for those on earth. Now surely Allah is the forgiving, the merciful. And as for those who take guardians besides him, Allah watches over them, and you have not charge over them. And thus have we revealed to you an Arabic Quran, that you may warn the mother city and those around it, and that you may give warning of the day of gathering together, wherein is no doubt, 
A party shall be in the garden and another party in the burning fire. And if Allah had pleased, he would surely have made them a single community. But he makes whom he pleases enter into his mercy. And the unjust it is that shall have no guardian or helper. Or have they taken guardians besides him? But Allah is the guardian, and he gives life to the dead, and he has power over all things. And in whatever thing you disagree, the judgment thereof is in Allah's hand. That is Allah, my Lord, on him do I rely, and to him do I turn time after time. The originator of the heavens and the earth, he made mates for you from among yourselves, and mates of the cattle too, multiplying you thereby, nothing like a likeness of him, and he is the hearing, the seeing. His are the treasures of the heavens and the earth, he makes ample and straightens the means of subsistence. For whom he pleases, surely he is cognizant of all things. He has made plain to you of the religion what he enjoined upon Nuh and that which we have revealed to you, and that which we enjoined upon Ibrahim and Musa and Isa, that keep to obedience, and be not divided therein. Hard to the unbelievers, is that which you call them to? Allah chooses for himself whom he pleases, and guides to himself him who turns to him frequently. And they did not become divided, until after knowledge had come to them, out of envy among themselves, and had not a word gone forth from your Lord till an appointed term, certainly judgment would have been given between them, and those who were made to inherit the book after them are most surely in disquieting doubt concerning it. To this, then go on inviting and go on steadfastly on the right way, as you are commanded, and do not follow their low desires, and say, I believe in what Allah has revealed of the book, and I am commanded, to do justice between you. Allah is our Lord, and your Lord, we shall have our deeds, and you shall have your deeds. No plea need there be now between us and you. Allah will gather us together, and to him is the return. And as for those who dispute about Allah, after that obedience has been rendered to him. Their plea is null with their Lord, and upon them is wrath, and for them is severe punishment. Allah, it is who revealed the book with truth and the balance, and what shall make you know that haply the hour be nigh? Those who do not believe in it would hasten it on, and those who believe are in fear from it, and they know that it is the truth. Now most surely those who dispute obstinately concerning the hour are in a great error. Allah is benignant to his servants, he gives sustenance to whom he pleases, and he is the strong, the mighty. Whoever desires the gain of the hereafter, we will give him more of that gain. And whoever desires the gain of this world, 
we give him of it, and in the hereafter he has no portion. Or have they associates who have prescribed for them any religion that Allah does not sanction? And were it not for the word of judgment, decision would have certainly been given between them. And surely the unjust shall have a painful punishment. You will see the unjust fearing on account of what they have earned, and it must befall them. And those who believe and do good shall be in the meadows of the gardens. They shall have what they please with their Lord. That is the great grace. That is of which Allah gives the good news to his servants, to those who believe and do good deeds. Say, I do not ask of you any reward, for it but love for my near relatives, and whoever earns good, we give him more of good therein. Surely Allah is forgiving, grateful. Or do they say he has forged a lie against Allah? But if Allah pleased, he would seal your heart, and Allah will blot out the falsehood and confirm the truth with his words. Surely he is cognizant of what is in the breasts, and he it is who accepts repentance from his servants and pardons the evil deeds, and he knows what you do. And he answers those who believe and do good deeds, and gives them more out of his grace. And as for the unbelievers, they shall have a severe punishment. And if Allah should amplify the provision for his servants, they would certainly revolt in the earth. But he sends it down according to a measure, as he pleases. Surely he is aware of seeing his servants. And he it is who sends down the rain after they have despaired. And he unfolds his mercy. And he is the guardian, the praised one. And one of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and what he has spread forth in both of them of living beings. And when he pleases, he is all-powerful to gather them together. And whatever affliction befalls you, it is on account of what your hands have wrought. And yet... He pardons most of your faults, and you cannot escape in the earth, and you shall not have a guardian or a helper besides Allah. And among his signs are the ships in the sea, like mountains. If he pleases, he causes the wind to become still, so that they lie motionless on its back. Most surely there are signs in this for every patient, grateful one. Or he may make them founder for what they have earned, and even then pardon most. And that those who dispute about our communications may know there is no place of refuge for them. So whatever thing you are given, that is only a provision of this world's life. And what is with Allah is better and more lasting for those who believe and rely on their Lord. And those who shun the great sins and indecencies and whenever they are angry, they forgive. And those who respond to their Lord and keep up prayer 
and their rule is to take counsel among themselves and who spend out of what we have given them. And those who, when great wrong afflicts them, defend themselves and the recompense of evil is punishment like it. But whoever forgives and amends, he shall have his reward from Allah. Surely he does not love the unjust. And whoever defends himself after his being oppressed, these it is against whom there is no way to blame. The way to blame is only against those who oppress men and revolt in the earth unjustly. These shall have a painful punishment. And whoever is patient and forgiving, these most surely are actions due to courage. And whomsoever Allah makes err, he has no guardian after him. And you shall see the unjust when they see the punishment, saying, Is there any way to return? And you shall see them brought before it humbling themselves because of the abasements, looking with a faint glance, and those who believe shall say, Surely the losers are they who have lost themselves and their followers on the resurrection day. Now surely the iniquitous shall remain in lasting chastisement. And they shall have no friends to help them besides Allah. And whomsoever Allah makes err, he shall have no way. Hearken to your Lord before there comes the day from Allah for which there shall be no averting. You shall have no refuge on that day, nor shall it be yours to make a denial. But if they turn aside, we have not sent you as a watcher over them. On you is only to deliver the message. And surely when we make man taste mercy from us, he rejoices thereat. And if an evil afflicts them on account of what their hands have already done, then surely man is ungrateful. Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He creates what he pleases. He grants to whom he pleases daughters and grants to whom he pleases sons. Or he makes them of both sorts, male and female, and he makes whom he pleases barren. Surely he is the knowing, the powerful. And it is not for any mortal that Allah should speak to them. They could not bear to hear, and they did not see. And thus did we reveal to you an inspired book by our command. You did not know what the book was, nor what the faith was, but we made it a light guiding thereby whom we please of our servants, and most surely you show the way to the right path. The path of Allah, whose is whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth. Now surely to Allah do all affairs eventually come. End of Surah 42. Surah 43 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 43, Ornaments of Gold, as zukhruf revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful, ha -meem. I swear by the book that makes things clear. Surely we have made it an Arabic Quran that you may understand. 
and surely it is in the original of the book with us, truly elevated, full of wisdom. What? Shall we then turn away the reminder from you altogether because you are an extravagant people? And how many a prophet have we sent among the ancients? And there came not to them a prophet, but they mocked at him. Then we destroyed those who were stronger than these in prowess. And the case of the ancients has gone before. And if you should ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they would most certainly say, the mighty, the knowing one, has created them. He who made the earth a resting place for you and made in it ways for you that you may go aright. And he who sends down water from the cloud according to a measure. Then we raise to life thereby a dead country. Even thus shall you be brought forth. And he who created pearls of all things and made for you of the ships and the cattle what you ride on, that you may firmly sit on their backs, then remember the favor of your Lord when you are firmly seated thereon. And say, Glory be to him who made this subservient to us, and we were not able to do it. And surely to our Lord we must return. And they assign to him a part of his servants. Man, to be sure, is clearly ungrateful. What? Has he taken daughters to himself of what he himself creates and chosen you to have sons? And when one of them is given news of that of which he sets up as a likeness for the beneficent Allah, his face becomes black and he is full of rage. What? That which is made in ornaments and which in contention is unable to make plain speech? And they make the angels, them who are the servants of the beneficent Allah, female divinities. What? Did they witness their creation? Their evidence shall be written down, and they shall be questioned. And they say, if the beneficent Allah had pleased, we should never have worshipped them. They have no knowledge of this, they only lie. Or have we given them a book before it, so that they hold fast to it? Nay, they say, we found our fathers on a course, and surely we are guided by their footsteps. And thus we did not send before you any warner in a town, but those who led easy lives in it said, Surely we found our fathers on a course, and surely we are followers of their footsteps. The warner said, What? Even if I bring to you a better guide than that on which you found your fathers, they said, surely we are unbelievers in that with which you are sent. So we inflicted retribution on them. Then see how was the end of the rejecters. And when Ibrahim said to his father, and his people, surely I am clear of what you worship. Save him who created me, for surely he will guide me. And he made it a word to continue in his posterity, that they may return. Nay, I gave them and their fathers 
to enjoy until there came to them the truth and a messenger making manifest the truth. And when there came to them the truth, they said, this is magic and surely we are disbelievers in it. And they say, why was not this Quran revealed to a man of importance in the two towns? Will they distribute the mercy of your Lord? We distribute among them their livelihood in the life of this world. And we have exalted some of them above others in degrees that some of them may take others in subjection. And the mercy of your Lord is better than what they amass. And were it not that all people had been a single nation, we would certainly have assigned to those who disbelieve in the beneficent Allah to make of silver the roofs of their houses and the stairs by which they ascend and the doors of their houses and the couches on which they recline and other embellishments of gold and all this is not but provision of this world's life and the hereafter is with your lord only for those who guard against evil and whoever turns himself away from the remembrance of the beneficent Allah, we appoint for him a shaitan, so he becomes his associate. And most surely they turn them away from the path, and they think that they are guided aright. Until when he comes to us, he says, Oh, would that between me and you, there were the distance of the east and the west. So evil is the associate. And since you were unjust, it will not profit you this day that you are sharers in the chastisement. What can you then make the deaf to hear or guide the blind and him who is in clear error. But if we should take you away, still we shall inflict retribution on them. Rather, we will certainly show you that which we have promised them, for surely we are the possessors of full power over them. Therefore, hold fast to that which has been revealed to you, Surely you are on the right path, and most surely it is a reminder for you and your people, and you shall soon be questioned. And ask those of our messengers whom we sent before you, did we ever appoint gods to be worshipped beside the beneficent Allah? And certainly we sent Musa with our communications to Pharaoh and his chiefs. So he said, surely I am the messenger of the Lord of the world. But when he came to them with our signs, lo, they laughed at them. And we did not show them a sign, but it was greater than its like. And we overtook them with chastisement that they may turn. And they said, O magician, call on your Lord for our sake, as he has made the covenant with you. We shall surely be the followers of the right way. But when we removed from them the chastisement, lo, they broke the pledge. And Pharaoh proclaimed amongst his people, O my people, is not the kingdom of Egypt mine? And these rivers flow beneath me, do you not then see? Nay, I am better than this fellow 
who is contemptible and who can hardly speak distinctly. But why have not bracelets of gold been put upon him? Or why have there not come with him angels as companions? So he incited his people to levity, and they obeyed him. Surely they were a transgressing people. Then when they displeased us, we inflicted a retribution on them. So we drowned them all together, and we made them a precedent and example to the later generations. And when a description of the son of Maryam is given, lo, your people raise a clamor threat. And they say, are our gods better, or is he? They do not set it forth to you, save by way of disputation. Nay, they are a contentious people. He was not but a servant on whom we bestowed favor, and we made him an example for the children of Israel. And if we please, we could make among you angels to be successors in the land. And most surely it is a knowledge of the hour. Therefore have no doubt about it, and follow me, this is the right path. And let not the shaitan prevent you. Surely he is your open enemy. And when Isa came with clear arguments, he said, I have come to you indeed with wisdom, and that I may make clear to you part of what you differ in. So be careful of your duty to Allah and obey me. Surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord, therefore serve him. This is the right path. But parties from among them differed, so who to those who were unjust because of the chastisement of a painful day? Do they wait for aught but the hour? that it should come upon them all of a sudden, while they do not perceive. The friends shall on that day be enemies one to another, except those who guard against evil. O my servants, there is no fear for you this day, nor shall you grieve. Those who believed in our communications and were submissive. Enter the garden, you and your wives, you shall be made happy. There shall be sent round to them golden bowls and drinking cups, and therein shall be what their souls yearn. After and wherein the eyes shall delight, and you shall abide therein. And this is the garden which you are given as an inheritance on account of what you did. For you therein are many fruits of which you shall eat. Surely the guilty shall abide in the chastisement of hell. It shall not be abated from them and they shall therein be despairing. And we are not unjust to them but they themselves were unjust. And they shall call out, O Malik, let your Lord make an end of us. He shall say, surely you shall tarry. Certainly we have brought you the truth, but most of you are averse to the truth. Or have they settled an affair? Then surely we are the settlers. Or do they think that we do not hear what they conceal and their secret discourses? I and our messengers with them write down. Say, if the beneficent Allah has a son, I am the foremost of those who serve. Glory to the Lord of the heavens and the earth, 
the Lord of power from what they describe. So leave them plunging into false discourses and sporting until they meet their day, which they are threatened with. And he it is who is Allah in the heavens and Allah in the earth. And he is the wise, the knowing. And blessed is he whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. And what is between them? And with him is the knowledge of the hour, and to him shall you be brought back. And those whom they call upon besides him have no authority for intercession, but he who bears witness of the truth, and they know him. And if you should ask them who created them, they would certainly say, Allah. Whence are they then turned back? Consider his cry, O my Lord, surely they are a people who do not believe. So turn away from them and say, Peace for they shall soon come to know. End of Surah 43 Surah 44 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 44 Smoke at Dukhan, revealed at Mac. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ha -meem. I swear by the book that makes manifest the truth. Surely we revealed it on a blessed night. Surely we are ever warning. Therein every wise affair is made distinct. A command from us. Surely we are the senders of messengers. A mercy from your Lord. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, if you would be sure. There is no God but he. He gives life and causes death. Your Lord and the Lord of your fathers of yore. Nay, they are in doubt. They sport. Therefore, keep waiting for the day when the heaven shall bring an evident smoke. That shall overtake men. This is a painful punishment. Our Lord, remove from us the punishment. Surely we are believers. How shall they be reminded? And there came to them a messenger, making clear the truth. Yet they turned their backs on him and said, One taught by others a madman. Surely we will remove the punishment a little, but you will surely return to evil. On the day when we will seize them with the most violent seizing, surely we will inflict retribution. And certainly we tried before them the people of Pharaoh, and there came to them a noble messenger, saying, Deliver to me the servants of Allah. Surely I am a faithful messenger to you, and that do not exalt yourselves against Allah. Surely I will bring to you a clear authority. And surely I take refuge with my Lord and your Lord that you should stone me to death. And if you do not believe in me, then leave me alone. Then he called upon his Lord. These are a guilty people. So go forth with my servants by night. Surely you will be pursued and leave the sea intervening. 
Surely they are a host that shall be drowned. How many of the gardens and fountains have they left? And cornfields and noble places, and goodly things wherein they rejoiced. Thus it was, and we gave them as a heritage to another people. So the heaven and the earth did not weep for them, nor were they respited. And certainly we delivered the children of Israel from the abasing chastisement. From Pharaoh, surely he was haughty and one of the extravagant, and certainly we chose them, having knowledge above the nations. And we gave them of the communications wherein was clear blessing. Most surely these do say, There is naught but our first death, and we shall not be raised again. So bring our fathers back, if you are truthful. Are they better or the people of Tobba and those before them? We destroyed them, for surely they were guilty. And we did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them in sport. We did not create them both, but with the truth. But most of them do not know. Surely the day of separation is their appointed term of all of them. The day on which a friend shall not avail his friend aught, nor shall they be helped, save those on whom Allah shall have mercy. Surely he is the mighty, the merciful. Surely the tree of the zakum is the food of the sinful, like dregs of oil, it shall boil in their bellies, like the boiling of hot water. Seize him, then drag him down into the middle of the hell, then pour above his head of the torment of the boiling water. Taste, you forsooth are the mighty, the honorable. Surely, this is what you disputed about. Surely, those who guard against evil are in a secure place, in gardens and springs. They shall wear of fine and thick silk, sitting face to face. Thus shall it be, and we will wed them with Horus pure, beautiful ones. They shall call therein for every fruit in security. They shall not taste therein death except the first death, and he will save them from the punishment of the hell. A grace from your Lord, this is the great achievement. So have we made it easy in your tongue that they may be mindful. Therefore, wait. Surely they are waiting. End of Surah 44。Surah 45 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 45, Crouching, al gathiyah revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Hamim. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the wise. Most surely in the heavens and the earth, there are signs for the believers. And in your own creation and in what he spreads abroad of animals, there are signs for a people that are sure, and in the variation of the night and the day, and in what Allah sends down of sustenance from the cloud, then gives life thereby to the earth after its death, 
and in the changing of the winds, there are signs for a people who understand. These are the communications of Allah, which we recite to you with truth. Then in what announcement would they believe after Allah and his communications? Woe to every sinful liar who hears the communications of Allah recited to him, then persists proudly as though he had not heard them. So announce to him a painful punishment. And when he comes to know of any of our communications, he takes it for a jest. These it is that shall have abasing chastisement. Before them is hell, and there shall not avail them. Out of what they earned, nor those whom they took for guardians besides Allah, and they shall have a grievous punishment. This is guidance, and as for those who disbelieve in the communications of their Lord, they shall have a painful punishment on account of uncleanness. Allah is he who made subservient to you the sea that the ships may run therein by his command and that you may seek of his grace, and that you may give thanks. And he has made subservient to you whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth, all from himself. Most surely there are signs in this for people who reflect. Say to those who believe, that they forgive those who do not fear the days of Allah, that he may reward a people for what they earn. Whoever does good, it is for his own soul, and whoever does evil, it is against himself. Then you shall be brought back to your Lord. And certainly we give the book and the wisdom and the prophecy to the children of Israel, and we gave them of the goodly things, and we made them excel the nations, and we gave them clear arguments in the affair, but they did not differ until after knowledge had come to them, out of envy among themselves. Surely your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection, concerning that wherein they differed. Then we have made you follow a course in the affair. Therefore follow it, and do not follow the low desires of those who do not know. Surely they shall not avail you in the least against Allah, and surely the unjust are friends of each other, and Allah is the guardian of those who guard against evil. These are clear proofs for men, and a guidance and a mercy for a people who are sure. Nay, do those who have wrought evil deeds think that we will make them like those who believe and do good, that their life and their death shall be equal? Evil it is that they judge. And Allah created the heavens and the earth with truth, and that every soul may be rewarded for what it has earned, and they shall not be wronged. Have you then considered him who takes his low desire for his God, and Allah has made him err, having knowledge, and has set a seal upon his ear and his heart, and put a covering upon his eye? Who can then guide him after Allah? Will you not then be mindful? And they say, there is nothing but our life in this world. We live and die and nothing destroys us but time. And they have no knowledge of that. They only conjecture. And when our clear communications are recited to them, their argument is no other than that they say, Bring our fathers back if you are truthful. Say Allah gives you life, then he makes you die. 
then will he gather you to the day of resurrection, wherein is no doubt, but most people do not know. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and on the day when the hour shall come to pass, on that day shall they perish who say false things. And you shall see every nation kneeling down. Every nation shall be called to its book. Today you shall be rewarded for what you did. This is our book that speaks against you with justice. Surely we wrote what you did. Then as to those who believed and did good, their Lord will make them enter into his mercy. That is the manifest achievement. As to those who disbelieved, what were not my communications recited to you, but you were proud, and you were a guilty people. And when it was said, surely the promise of Allah is true, and as for the hour, there is no doubt about it. You said, we do not know what the hour is. We do not think that it will come to pass. Save a passing thought, and we are not at all sure. And the evil consequences of what they did shall become manifest to them, and that which they mocked shall encompass them. And it shall be said, Today we forsake you as you neglected the meeting of this day of yours, and your abode is the fire, and there are not for you any helpers. That is because you took the communications of Allah for a jest, and the life of this world deceived you. So on that day they shall not be brought forth from it, nor shall they be granted goodwill. Therefore to Allah is due all praise, the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth, the Lord of the worlds, and to him belongs the greatness in the heavens and the earth, and he is the mighty, the wise. End of Surah 45 Surah 46 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 46, the wind-curved sand hills, Al-Ahqaf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Hamim, the revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the wise. We did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them, to save with truth and for an appointed term, and those who disbelieve turn aside from what they are warned of. Say, have you considered what you call upon besides Allah? Show me what they have created of the earth, or have they a share in the heavens? Bring me a book before this, or traces of knowledge if you are truthful. And who is in greater error than he who calls besides Allah upon those that will not answer him till the day of resurrection, and they are heedless of their call. And when men are gathered together, they shall be their enemies and shall be deniers of their worshipping them. And when our clear communications are recited to them, those who disbelieve say with regard to the truth when it comes to them, this is clear magic. Nay, they say, he has forged it. Say, if I have forged it, you do not control anything for me from Allah. He knows best what you utter concerning it. He is enough as a witness between me and you, and he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say, I am not the first of the messengers, 
and I do not know what will be done with me or with you. I do not follow anything but that which is revealed to me, and I am nothing but a plain warner. Say, have you considered if it is from Allah and you disbelieve in it? And the witness from among the children of Israel has borne witness of one like it. So he believed, while you are big with pride. Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. And those who disbelieve say concerning those who believe, if it had been a good, they would not have gone ahead of us therein. And as they do not seek to be rightly directed thereby, they say it is an old lie. And before it, the book of Musa was a guide and a mercy. And this is a book verifying it in the Arabic language, that it may warn those who are unjust and as good news for the doers of good. Surely those who say, our Lord is Allah, then they continue on the right way. They shall have no fear, nor shall they grieve. These are the dwellers of the garden, abiding therein, a reward for what they did. And we have enjoined on man doing of good to his parents. With trouble did his mother bear him, and with trouble did she bring him forth. And the bearing of him and the weaning of him was thirty months until when he attains his maturity and reaches forty years. He says, My Lord, grant me that I may give thanks for thy favor, which thou hast bestowed on me and on my parents, and that I may do good which pleases thee, and do good to me in respect of my offspring. Surely I turn to thee. And surely I am of those who submit. These are they from whom we accept the best of what they have done and pass over their evil deeds among the dwellers of the garden, the promise of truth which they were promised. And he who says to his parents, Fie on you, do you threaten me that I shall be brought forth when generations have already passed away before me, and they both call for Allah's aid. Woe to you! Believe surely the promise of Allah is true, but he says, this is nothing but stories of the ancients. These are they against whom the word has proved true among nations of the jinn and the men that have already passed away before them. Surely they are losers, and for all are degrees according to what they did, and that he may pay them back fully their deeds, and they shall not be wronged. And on the day when those who disbelieve shall be brought before the fire, you did away with your good things in your life of the world, and you enjoyed them for a while. So today you shall be rewarded with the punishment of abasement because you were unjustly proud in the land and because you transgressed. And mention the brother of Aed when he warned his people in the sandy plains and indeed warners came before him and after him, saying, Serve none but Allah. Surely I fear for you the punishment of a grievous day. They said, Have you come to us to turn us away from our gods? Then bring us what you threaten us with, if you are of the truthful ones. He said, the knowledge is only with Allah, and I deliver to you the message with which I am sent, but I see you are a people who are ignorant. 
So when they saw it as a cloud appearing in the sky, advancing towards their valleys, they said, this is a cloud which will give us rain. Nay, it is what you saw to hasten on a blast of wind, in which is a painful punishment, destroying everything by the command of its Lord. So they became such that naught could be seen except their dwellings. Thus do we reward the guilty people, and certainly we had established them in what we have not established you in, and we had given them ears and eyes and hearts, but neither their ears nor their eyes nor their hearts availed them aught, since they denied the communications of Allah, and that which they mocked encompassed them. And certainly we destroyed the towns which are around you, and we repeat the communications that they might turn. Why did not then those help them whom they took for gods besides Allah to draw them nigh to him? Nay, they were lost to them, and this was their lie and what they forged. And when we turn towards you a party of the jinn who listened to the Quran, so when they came to it, they said, Be silent. Then when it was finished, they turned back to their people, warning them. They said, O our people, we have listened to a book revealed after Musa, verifying that which is before it, guiding to the truth and to a right path. O our people, accept the divine caller, and believe in him. He will forgive you of your faults and protect you from a painful punishment. And whoever does not accept the divine caller, he shall not escape in the earth, and he shall not have guardians besides him. These are in manifest error. Have they not considered that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and was not tired by their creation, is able to give life to the dead, I, he has surely power over all things. And on the day when those who disbelieve shall be brought before the fire, is it not true? They shall say, I, by our Lord, he will say, then taste the punishment because you disbelieved. Therefore bear up patiently, as did the messengers endowed with constancy. Bear up with patience and do not seek to hasten for them. Their doom, on the day that they shall see what they are promised, they shall be as if they had not tarried save an hour of the day. A sufficient exposition Shall then any be destroyed, save the transgressing people? End of Surah 46 Surah 47 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 47, Muhammad Revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. As for those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way, he shall render their works ineffective. And as for those who believe and do good and believe in what has been revealed to Muhammad, and it is the very truth from their Lord, he will remove their evil from them and improve their condition. That is because those who disbelieve follow falsehood, while those who believe follow the truth from their Lord. Thus does Allah set forth their parables for mankind.
So when you meet in battle those who disbelieve, then smite the next until when you have overcome them. Then make them prisoners, and afterwards either set them free as a favor or let them ransom themselves until the war terminates. That shall be so. And if Allah had pleased, he would certainly have exacted what is due from them, but that he may try some of you by means of others. And as for those who are slain in the way of Allah, he will by no means allow their deeds to perish. He will guide them and improve their condition and cause them to enter the garden which he has made known to them. O you who believe, if you help the cause of Allah, he will help you and make firm your feet. And as for those who disbelieve, for them is destruction, and he has made their deeds ineffective. That is because they hated what Allah revealed, so he rendered their deeds null. Have they not then journeyed in the land and seen how was the end of those before them? Allah brought down destruction upon them, and the unbelievers shall have the like of it. That is because Allah is the protector of those who believe, and because the unbelievers shall have no protector for them. Surely Allah will make those who believe and do good enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, and those who disbelieve enjoy themselves and eat as the beasts eat, and the fire is their abode. And how many a town which was far more powerful than the town of yours, which has driven you out, we destroyed them, so there was no helper for them. What is he who has a clear argument from his Lord, like him to whom the evil of his work is made fair-seeming, and they follow their low desires? A parable of the garden, which those guarding against evil are promised. Therein are rivers of water that does not alter, and rivers of milk, the taste whereof does not change, and rivers of drink delicious to those who drink, and rivers of honey clarified, and for them therein are all fruits and protection from their Lord. Are these like those who abide in the fire and who are made to drink boiling water so it rends their bowels asunder? And there are those of them who seek to listen to you until when they go forth from you, they say to those who have been given the knowledge, what was it that he said just now? These are they upon whose hearts Allah has set a seal, and they follow their low desires. And as for those who follow the right direction, he increases them in guidance and gives them their guarding against evil. Do they then wait for aught, but the hour that it should come to them all of a sudden? Now indeed the tokens of it have already come, but how shall they have their reminder when it comes on them? So know that there is no God but Allah, and ask protection for your fault and for the believing men and the believing women. And Allah knows the place of your returning and the place of your abiding. And those who believe say, Why has not a chapter been revealed? But when a decisive chapter is revealed and fighting is mentioned, therein you see those in whose hearts is a disease look to you with the look of one fainting because of death. Woe to them then. Obedience and a gentle word was proper, but when the affair becomes settled, 
then if they remain true to Allah, it would certainly be better for them. But if you held command, you were sure to make mischief in the land and cut off the ties of kinship. Those it is whom Allah has cursed, so he has made them deaf and blinded their eyes. Do they not then reflect on the Quran? Nay, on the hearts there are locks. Surely as for those who return on their backs after that guidance has become manifest to them, the shaitan has made it a light matter to them, and he gives them respite. That is because they say to those who hate what Allah has revealed, we will obey you in some of the affairs, and Allah knows their secrets. But how will it be when the angels cause them to die smiting their backs? That is because they follow what is displeasing to Allah and are averse to his pleasure. Therefore, he has made null their deeds. Or do those in whose hearts is a disease think that Allah will not bring forth their spite? And if we please, we would have made you know them so that you would certainly have recognized them by their marks. And most certainly you can recognize them by the intent of their speech. And Allah knows your deeds. And most certainly we will try you until we have known those among you who exert themselves hard and the patient and made your case manifest. Surely those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way and oppose the messenger after that guidance has become clear to them, cannot harm Allah in any way, and he will make null their deeds. O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the messenger, and do not make your deeds of no effect. Surely those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way, then they die while they are unbelievers. Allah will by no means forgive them. And be not slack so as to cry for peace, and you have the upper hand, and Allah is with you, and he will not bring your deeds to naught. The life of this world is only idle sport and play, and if you believe and guard against evil, he will give you your rewards and will not ask of you your possessions. If he should ask you for it and urge you, you will be niggardly and he will bring forth your malice. Behold, you are those who are called upon to spend in Allah's way, but among you are those who are niggardly, and whoever is niggardly is niggardly against his own soul, and Allah is self-sufficient, and you have need of him, and if you turn back, he will bring in your place another people, then they will not be like you. End of Surah 47。Surah 48 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 48, Victory, Conquest, Al-Fatih, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Surely we have given to you a clear victory, that Allah may forgive your community their past faults, and those to follow and complete his favor to you and keep you on a right way, and that Allah might help you with the mighty help. He it is who sent down tranquility into the hearts of the believers, that they might have more of faith added to their faith, 
and Allah's are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is knowing wise, that he may cause the believing men and the believing women to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein and remove from them their evil, and that is a grand achievement with Allah, and that he may punish the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women, and the polytheistic men and the polytheistic women, the entertainers of evil thoughts about Allah. On them is the evil turn, and Allah is wrath with them, and has cursed them, and prepared hell for them, and evil is the resort. And Allah's are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is mighty wise. Surely we have sent you as a witness and as a bearer of good news, and as a warner, that you may believe in Allah and his messenger, and may aid him and revere him, and that you may declare his glory morning and evening. Surely those who swear allegiance to you do but swear allegiance to Allah. The hand of Allah is above their hands. Therefore, whoever breaks his faith, he breaks it only to the injury of his own soul. And whoever fulfills what he has covenanted with Allah, he will grant him a mighty reward. Those of the dwellers of the desert who were left behind will say to you, Our property and our families kept us busy, so ask forgiveness for us. They say with their tongues what is not in their hearts. Say then, who can control anything for you from Allah? If he intends to do you harm, or if he intends to do you good, nay, Allah is aware of what you do. Nay, you rather thought that the messenger and the believers would not return to their families ever, and that was made fair-seeming to your hearts, and you thought an evil thought, and you were a people doomed to perish." And whoever does not believe in Allah and his messenger, then surely we have prepared burning fire for the unbelievers. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He forgives whom he pleases and punishes whom he pleases. And Allah is forgiving merciful. Those who are left behind will say, when you set forth for the gaining of acquisitions, allow us that we may follow you. They desire to change the word of Allah. Say, by no means shall you follow us. Thus did Allah say before, but they will say, nay, you are jealous of us. Nay, they do not understand but a little. Say to those of the dwellers of the desert who were left behind, you shall soon be invited to fight against a people possessing mighty prowess. You will fight against them until they submit. Then if you obey, Allah will grant you a good reward. And if you turn back as you turned back before, he will punish you with a painful punishment. There is no harm in the blind, nor is there any harm in the lame, nor is there any harm in the sick, if they do not go forth. And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. And whoever turns back, he will punish him with a painful punishment. Certainly, Allah was well pleased with the believers when they swore allegiance to you under the tree, and he knew what was in their hearts. So he sent down tranquility on them, 
and rewarded them with a near victory and many acquisitions which they will take and Allah is mighty wise. Allah promised you many acquisitions which you will take. Then he hastened on this one for you and held back the hands of men from you and that it may be a sign for the believers and that he may guide you on a right path and others which you have not yet been able to achieve. Allah has surely encompassed them and Allah has power over all things. And if those who disbelieve fight with you, they would certainly turn their backs. Then they would not find any protector or a helper. Such has been the course of Allah that has indeed run before and you shall not find a change in Allah's course. And he it is who held back their hands from you and your hands from them in the valley of Mecca after he had given you victory over them and Allah is seeing what you do. It is they who disbelieved and turned you away from the sacred mosque and turned off the offering withheld from arriving at its destined place. And were it not for the believing men and the believing women whom not having known, you might have trodden down and thus something hateful might have afflicted you on their account without knowledge so that Allah may cause to enter into his mercy whomsoever he pleases. Had they been widely separated one from another, we would surely have punished those who disbelieved from among them with a painful punishment. When those who disbelieved harbored in their hearts feelings of disdain, the disdain of the days of ignorance, but Allah sent down his tranquility on his messenger and on the believers and made them keep the word of guarding against evil. And they were entitled to it and worthy of it. And Allah is cognizant of all things. Certainly, Allah had shown to his messenger the vision with truth you shall most certainly enter the sacred mosque if Allah pleases in security, some having their heads shaved and others having their hair cut. You shall not fear. But he knows what you do not know. So he brought about a near victory before that. He it is who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion that he may make it prevail over all the religions. And Allah is enough for a witness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are firm of heart against the unbelievers, compassionate among themselves. You will see them bowing down, prostrating themselves, seeking grace from Allah and pleasure, their marks are in their faces because of the effect of prostration. That is their description in the Torah and their description in the Injil. Like a seed produced that puts forth its sprout, then strengthens it, so it becomes stout and stands firmly on its stem, delighting the sowers that he may enrage the unbelievers on account of them. Allah has promised those among them who believe and do good, forgiveness and the great reward. End of Surah 48. Surah 49 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 49, The Private Apartments, Al-Hagurat, Revealed at Medina. 
in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who believe, be not forward in the presence of Allah and his messenger, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is hearing, knowing. O you who believe, do not raise your voices above the voice of the Prophet, and do not speak loud to him as you speak loud to one another, lest your deeds become null while you do not perceive. Surely those who lower their voices before Allah's Messenger are they whose hearts Allah has proved for guarding against evil. They shall have forgiveness and a great reward. As for those who call out to you from behind the private chambers, surely most of them do not understand. And if they wait patiently until you come out to them, it would certainly be better for them. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. O you who believe, if an evildoer comes to you with a report, Look carefully into it, lest you harm a people in ignorance. Then be sorry for what you have done. And know that among you is Allah's messenger. Should he obey you in many a matter, you would surely fall into distress. But Allah has endeared the faith to you and has made it seemly in your hearts and he has made hateful to you unbelief and transgression and disobedience. These it is that are the followers of a right way. By grace from Allah and as a favor, and Allah is knowing wise. And if two parties of the believers quarrel, make peace between them. But if one of them acts wrongfully towards the other, fight that which acts wrongfully until it returns to Allah's command. Then, if it returns, make peace between them with justice and act equitably. Surely Allah loves those who act equitably. The believers are but brethren, Therefore make peace between your brethren and be careful of your duty to Allah that mercy may be had on you. O you who believe, let not one people laugh at another people. Perchance they may be better than they. Nor let women laugh at other women. Perchance they may be better than they. And do not find fault with your own people, nor call one another by nicknames. Evil is a bad name after faith. And whoever does not turn, these it is that are the unjust. O you who believe, avoid most of suspicion. For surely suspicion in some cases is a sin. And do not spy, nor let some of you backbite others. Does one of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? But you abhor it, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is oft returning to mercy, merciful. O you men, surely we have created you of a male and a female, and made you tribes and families, that you may know each other. Surely the most honorable of you with Allah is the one among you most careful of his duty. Surely Allah is knowing, aware. The dwellers of the desert say, we believe. Say, you do not believe, but say, we submit and faith has not yet entered into your hearts. And if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not diminish aught of your deeds. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. 
The believers are only those who believe in Allah and his messenger. Then they doubt not and struggle hard with their wealth and their lives in the way of Allah. They are the truthful ones. Say, do you apprise Allah of your religion? And Allah knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And Allah is cognizant of all things. They think that they lay you under an obligation by becoming Muslims. Say, lay me not under obligation by your Islam. Rather, Allah lays you under an obligation by guiding you to the faith if you are truthful. Surely, Allah knows the unseen things of the heavens and the earth, and Allah sees what you do. End of Surah 49。Surah 50 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 50, the letter Qaf, Qaf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Qaf, I swear by the glorious Quran that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Nay, they wonder that there has come to them a warner from among themselves. So the unbelievers say, this is a wonderful thing. What? When we are dead and have become dust, that is a far from probable return. We know indeed what the earth diminishes of them, and with us is a writing that preserves. Nay, they rejected the truth when it came to them. So they are now in a state of confusion. Do they not then look up to heaven above them how we have made it and adorned it and it has no gaps? And the earth we have made it plain and cast in it mountains and we have made to grow the rain of all beautiful kinds. To give sight and as a reminder to every servant who turns frequently to Allah. And we send down from the cloud water abounding in good. Then we cause to grow thereby gardens and the grain that is reaped. And the tall palm trees having species closely set one above another a sustenance for the servants, and we give life thereby to a dead land. Thus is the rising. Others before them rejected prophets, the people of Nuh and the dwellers of Ras and Samun, and Ad and Pharaoh and Lut's brethren, and the dwellers of the grove and the people of Tobba, who rejected the messengers, so my threat came to pass. Were we then fatigued with the first creation? Yet are they in doubt with regard to a new creation? And certainly we created man, and we know what his mind suggests to him, and we are nearer to him than his life vain. When the two receivers receive, sitting on the right and on the left, he utters not a word, but there is by him a watcher at hand. And the stupor of death will come in truth, that is what you were trying to escape. And the trumpet shall be blown, that is the day of the threatening, and every soul shall come with it a driver and a witness. Certainly you were heedless of it, but now we have removed from you your veil, 
So your sight today is sharp, and his companions shall say, This is what is ready with me. Do cast into hell every ungrateful, rebellious one, forbidder of good, exceeder of limits, doubter, who sets up another god with Allah. So do cast him into severe chastisement. His companion will say, Our Lord, I did not lead him into a northern sea, but he himself was in a great error. He will say, Do not quarrel in my presence, and indeed I gave you the threatening beforehand. My word shall not be changed, nor am I in the least unjust to the servants. On the day that we will say to hell, Are you filled up? And it will say, Are there any more? And the garden shall be brought near to those who guard against evil, not far off. This is what you were promised. It is for everyone who turns frequently to Allah, keeps his limits who fears the beneficent Allah in secret and comes with a penitent heart. Enter it in peace, that is the day of abiding. They have therein what they wish and with us is more yet. And how many a generation did we destroy before them who were mightier in prowess than they? So they went about and about in the lands. Is there a place of refuge? Most surely there is a reminder in this for him who has a heart or he gives ear and is a witness. And certainly we created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six periods and there touched us not any fatigue. Therefore be patient of what they say, and sing the praise of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before the setting, and glorify him in the night and after the prayers, and listen on the day when the crier shall cry from a near place, the day when they shall hear the cry in truth, that is the day of coming forth. Surely we give life and cause to die, and to us is the eventual coming, the day on which the earth shall cleave asunder under them. They will make haste, that is a gathering together easy to us. We know best what they say, and you are not one to compel them. Therefore remind him by means of the Qur'an who fears my threat. End of Surah 50Recording is in the public domain. Surah 51 The Winnowing Winds Zariyat Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I swear by the wind that scatters far and wide. Then those clouds bearing the load of minute things in space. Then those ships that glide easily. Then those angels who distribute blessings by our command. What you are threatened with is most surely true. And the judgment must most surely come about. I swear by the heaven full of ways. Most surely you are at variance with each other in what you say. He is turned away from it who would be turned away. 
Cursed be the liars who are in a gulf of ignorance neglectful. They ask, when is the day of judgment? It is the day on which they shall be tried at the fire. Taste your persecution. This is what you would hasten on. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in gardens and fountains, taking what their Lord gives them. Surely they were before that the doers of good. They used to sleep but little in the night, and in the morning they asked forgiveness. And in their property was a portion due to him who begs and to him who is denied good. And in the earth there are signs for those who are sure, and in your own souls too will you not then see? And in the heaven is your sustenance, and what you are threatened with. And by the Lord of the heavens and the earth, it is most surely the truth, just as you do speak. Has there come to you information about the honored guests of Ibrahim? When they entered upon him, they said, Peace, peace, said he, a strange people. Then he turned aside to his family secretly and brought a fat roasted Calf. So he brought it near them. He said, What? Will you not eat? So he conceived in his mind a fear on account of them. They said, Fear not, and they gave him the good news of a boy possessing knowledge. Then his wife came up in great grief, and she struck her face and said, An old barren woman? They said, Thus says your Lord, surely he is the wise, the knowing. He said, What is your affair then, O messengers? They said, Surely we are sent to a guilty people, that we may send down upon them stone of clay, sent forth from your Lord for the extravagant. Then we brought forth such as were therein of the believers, but we did not find therein save a single house of those who submitted the Muslims. And we left therein a sign for those who fear the painful punishment. And in Musa, when we sent him to Pharaoh with clear authority, but he turned away with his forces and said, A magician or a madman. So we seized him and his horse and hurled them into the sea, and he was blamable. And in Ad, when we sent upon them the destructive wind, it did not leave aught on which it blew, but it made it like ashes. And in Samud, when it was said to them, Enjoy yourselves for a while, but they revolted against the commandment of their Lord. So the rumbling overtook them while they saw. So they were not able to rise up, nor could they defend themselves. And the people of Nuh before, surely they were a transgressing people. And the heaven we raised it high with power, and most surely we are the makers of things ample. And the earth we have made it a wide extent. How well have we then spread it out? And of everything we have created purse that you may be mindful. Therefore, fly to Allah. Surely I am a plain warner to you from him. And do not set up with Allah another God. Surely I am a plain warner to you from him. 
Thus there did not come to those before them a messenger, but they said, A magician or a madman. Have they charged each other with this? Nay, they are an inordinate people. Then turn your back upon them, for you are not to blame. And continue to remind, for surely the reminder profits the believers. And I have not created the jinn and the men except that they should serve me. I do not desire from them any sustenance, and I do not desire that they should feed me. Surely Allah is the bestower of sustenance, the Lord of power, the strong. So surely those who are unjust shall have a portion like the portion of their companions. Therefore, let them not ask me to hasten on. Therefore, woe to those who disbelieve because of their day which they are threatened with. End of Surah 51 Surah 52 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 52, The Mount, a tour, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the mountain and the book written, in an outstretched fine parchment, and the house Kaaba that is visited, and the elevated canopy, and the swollen sea, most surely the punishment of your Lord will come to pass. There shall be none to avert it. On the day when the heaven shall move from side to side, and the mountains shall pass away, passing away altogether. So woe on that day to those who reject the truth, those who sport entering into vain discourses, the day on which they shall be driven away to the fire of hell with violence. This is the fire which you used to give the lie to. Is it magic then, or do you not see? Enter into it, then bear it patiently, or do not bear it patiently, it is the same to you. You shall be requited only for what you did. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in gardens and bliss, rejoicing because of what their Lord gave them and the Lord saved them from the punishment of the burning fire. Eat and drink pleasantly for what you did, reclining on thrones set in lines, and we will unite them to large-eyed, beautiful ones. And as for those who believe and their offspring follow them in faith, we will unite with them their offspring, and we will not diminish to them aught of their work. Every man is responsible for what he shall have wrought, and we will aid them with fruit and flesh, such as they desire. They shall pass therein from one to another a cup, wherein there shall be nothing vain nor any sin and round them shall go boys of theirs as if they were hidden pearls. And some of them shall advance towards others, questioning each other, saying, Surely we feared before on account of our families, but Allah has been gracious to us, and he has saved us from the punishment of the hot wind. Surely we called upon him before. Surely he is the benign, 
the merciful. Therefore, continue to remind, for by the grace of your Lord, you are not a soothsayer or a madman. Or do they say, a poet, we wait for him the evil accidents of time. Say, wait, for surely I too with you am of those who wait. Nay, do their understandings bid them this, or are they an inordinate people? Or do they say he has forged it? Nay, they do not believe. Then let them bring an announcement like it, if they are truthful. Or were they created without there being anything? Or are they the creators? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Nay, they have no certainty. Or have they treasures of your Lord with them? Or have they been set in absolute authority? Or have they the means by which they listen? Then let their listener bring a clear authority. Or has he daughters while you have sons? Or do you ask them for a reward so that they are overburdened by a debt? Or have they the unseen so that they write it down? Or do they desire a war, but those who disbelieve shall be the vanquished ones in war? Or have they a God other than Allah? Glory be to Allah from what they set up with him. And if they should see a portion of the heaven coming down, they would say, piled up clouds. Leave them then till they meet that day of theirs wherein they shall be made to swoon with terror. The day on which their struggle shall not avail them aught, nor shall they be helped, and surely those who are unjust shall have a punishment besides that in the world. But most of them do not know. And wait patiently for the judgment of your Lord, for surely you are before our eyes, and sing the praise of your Lord when you rise. And in the night give him glory too, and at the setting of the stars. End of Surah 52